Hello, folks. Welcome to the Nate Land Podcast. Uh, I'm here with Aaron Weber, Brian Bates. Uh, hello, folks, to HelloFresh. With HelloFresh, you get fresh, pre-measured ingredients and mouth-watering seasonal recipes delivered right to your door. Skip trips to the grocery store and count on HelloFresh to make home cooking easy, fun, and affordable. And that is why it's America's number one meal kit. Go to HelloFresh.com slash 14Nate and use code 14Nate for 14 free meals, including free shipping. Also, if you want to give a truly mean, meaningful gift, you have to go try paintyourlife.com. Talk a, uh, to sh- like uh, you get 20% off your painting, sorry. <laughs> you get 20% off your painting and free shipping. Text the word Nate to 64,000. That is Nate to 64000 for 20 20- 20% off and free shipping. Uh, also, uh, with uh, Scribd, you get instant access to millions of ebooks, audiobooks, magazines, and more. Automated suggestions and hand curated picks make choosing your next book easier than ever. And we have got a deal. Go to tryscribd.com slash Nate for your 60 day free trial. That is try.scribd.com slash Nate to get 60 days of Scribd for free. And finally, fall is a time for change. And aren't we all working towards a better version of ourself? Is the perfect time to focus on your mental health goals with Talk Space. Match with a licensed therapist today at Talk Space and get $100 off your first month with promo code Nate. Welcome, everybody. Welcome. We're also sitting here with a special guest. As always, I know you just made like a smile. I think people know that just from that laugh, they know who he just goes, Uh, Nicholas Novicki, Nick Novicki, everybody. Mick. Mick. Hello, folks. There you go. go. He almost, you almost forgot, didn't you? (laughs) (laughs) Hello, guys. Yeah. Thanks to your page. We, uh, we just got back off the road. Uh, Me, Nick, Dustin, and Aaron. Bates already was booked. He's a uh, big time. <laughs> you were Leanne, right? Uh, Friday night. Yeah, yeah. Saturday night, I had my own show. Oh, wow. His own stuff. <laughs> Not you, losers. I got my own money now, <laughs> Papa. I don't need your money. <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense. As you tell your dad when you were running away. <laughs> well, I got my own money now. Just Aaron and I in the back of the bus. Nate, we're hungry. <laughs> Feed us. Pretty much. Get back. Get <laughs> back. No, Aaron, you were all over the place. What do you, you mean? You, had a, you have a bunch of gigs. Yeah. You have a gig tonight. You have a gig the night before us. Hey, Nick's dude. barely working. <laughs> <laughs> we uh, both got a gig tonight. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Same thing? No. Oh. Mm-hmm. Wow. Oh. Everybody's working. A lot of gigs. Look at this. A lot of gigs. Uh, we had a blast. We were in uh, Cleveland. Uh, well, Pittsburgh and Cleveland. And uh, it was super, super fun. Uh, you know, nice. This is the last bus trip uh, until January, until the first week or whenever the tour starts in January. You missed the bus. You know, the bus is a fun time. We have a good time on it. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Yeah. I mean, any, any poker play this weekend? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. We yeah. got we got some poker. It was it was also fun to play with people that had no idea how to play poker. Mm-hmm. They're like, oh. Uh, what should I do? Should I go all in? And we were like, yeah. Better yeah. than me. And, and they was, won, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but yeah, they were true. like, we're going all in. And yeah. like, we, Travis, who's like a professional poker player, was, you could just see his anger. He was like, ugh. Yeah, he gets so mad. Uh, yeah, we went down there. We played, and uh, playing cards is fun. It's something to do. Uh, so we had a blast, and uh, it was fun. And yeah, all right. I don't have a lot. I think we're getting to it more. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I'm just someone, to think. someone posted a Facebook poll. What guests would you like to see on Nate Land? And Nick is one of the top ones. Ah, guests. Well, yeah. you know, I, you know, I, I get Mick all the time. Yeah. When I'm on shows, you know, places. Also, I pronounce the name Nick bad. So <laughs> yeah. I partially Mick. am the reason why that Mick legend mm-hmm. kind of continues. But no, it's, it's truly amazing. I mean, the fans of, Nate Lamb podcasts are amazing. Yeah. Very nice. Mm-hmm. Uh, all right, let's start with some comments for you guys. Nate Blair. That would be, if I had, 
Laura's maiden name. Yeah. I don't know if I should share. Am I supposed to say that? I'm ruining Harper's life for the future. <laughs> like everything. Her like, security what's your, question. Yeah, security, yeah. What's, your, what's your mom's maiden name? I'm like, oh, oh gosh. Can we give her social security out? <laughs> I've that? already did that. Yeah, uh, you've it all on here already. <laughs> is anyone else getting a real strong Todd Packer vibe from John Reap? Love this episode. John was a great guest. We had a few people say that he sounded like David Koechner or Todd Packer from yeah. The Office. Yeah. Yeah. I get it. Some you people do. said they were listening. They thought he's going to look just like Todd Packer. He mm-hmm. looks a little bit like him, but if you close your eyes and listen to him, he's got the same kind of inflections in yeah. his voice. Yeah. yeah. I could see it. John's just very funny. He's a very, that's why David Koechner is very funny and John is very funny. Mm-hmm. It's a, they're just very funny people mm-hmm. and they're fun to watch. And you go watch John live, it's just fun. Yeah. It's great. Jay Yebra. Is that right? Yeah. It's definitely clear that nobody has watched Ted Lasso, or y'all would have known right away a soccer field is called a pitch. It's actually called a pitch because of cricket. We've all watched Ted Lasso. I haven't watched the new season, but... I, haven't either. I bet that's how you knew that, though, right? Is that how? I think that is a big part of why I knew that. Yeah. yeah. I love it. Ted Lasso is unbelievable. So, I know what a pitch is. I'm, I'm better than everybody at this table, <laughs> yeah. is what I'm trying to say. Uh, well, Aaron knew, but we didn't. <laughs> yeah. I don't even. I was just such a. The, the, I don't even know. Yeah, is that the comments really not about Ted Lasso? <laughs> and I like that you're just like, yeah, Ted Lasso's great, dude. Yeah, no, you knew what a soccer pitch is. That's what you say. Yeah, I know what a soccer pitch is, and I'm a big fan. Jason Sudeikis, I <laughs> yeah. love him. Yeah, where's today? He knows fans the star too. of the show. Yeah. You really Worst are Sudeikis a big fan too. Uh, Anna Brutbacher, Brut Barker, Brut Bark Bacher, oh, Brut Bacher. Okay. Anna, stoppage time <laughs> is intentionally not posted in the stadium because they don't want the players to see it and stop playing full on until the final whistle and the game is actually over. They will announce it in the stadium, and then we always then we always open up a stopwatch phone app <laughs> to keep track of how much time is left. That's a lot to do. That's the, they're demanding a lot of the fans. You got to bring a stopwatch. I mean, I guess you, your phone now, but imagine four phone. So you're like, everybody's going to go with a stopwatch to the game? I know. Are you just watching it forever? I, I do like the stoppage time. I think it's kind of fun. You don't know how much. It's like there's a hesitation to it. I mean, not hesitation. Uh, the opposite of hesitation. What is that? A Urgency? <laughs> an urgency. An urgency. I feel like, the, too, there was a, a soccer guy that would run around at like a kid's soccer with that stopwatch. And now everybody has an iPhone. Yeah. So you just know the time. Yeah. There's no need for that guy there anymore. Some com- nice commentating from the top. <laughs> uh, it's still hard to imagine, though, if... I mean, that was like... <laughs> if we're This is like ESPN, like the game is 50 to 0, and we're just like, yeah, and then you're just trying to chime in. <laughs> <laughs> Matt Tanner. Nate is making no sense in his sports comments. First, he says, he says the Cubs shouldn't complain because they never won before then. Going on to say Dan Lebetard shouldn't complain because the Marlins have only been around around 20 years and already won twice. Basically, Nate is saying you can't complain that goes on to complain about how his team stinks. <laughs> Come on, Nate. You guys haven't ever been good, so you shouldn't care. Good luck on the Grammy. Thank you. Uh, yeah, that's... A couple but, of people made that point. But I, but like I'm, we've never won. So, like, it's just... It's the idea that, like, it's the greedy. Does that make sense? But aren't... I mean, are you saying we shouldn't even be upset about not winning? Uh, the Cub thing, I'm not saying they shouldn't complain. I'm saying the the Cubs, they think they're better than they are. So they complain like they're this historic franchise. And they're historic in the fact that they're a very famous franchise. But it's not because of winning. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, and the Marlins is like, he was crying. <laughs> and they, they've won twice in 20 years. Like you want to go? Is it? What do you? What did you want? Five more times? Three? You want it to be three? Would you be happy if it was three? Am I not making sense there? And then Vandy, we. I mean, we haven't done anything. I think our victory would feel the most rewarding. You're you're most excited Notre about Dame. like almost tying Tennessee. You know, from like the '90s. Like that's your big Vanderbilt. We lost twelve to seven to <laughs> Peyton Manning. Peyton Manning ran a dumb. Bootleg, mm-hmm. naked bootleg. I think about it every day. <laughs> he just went out, no one grabbed him. He runs one and one every 10 years, and it works <laughs> so good. Like, he, I think he has a yearly clock. He had a yearly clock on his bootlegs, 
And he was like, it's about time. He's like 25, and he's like, I think this is about time. And he runs one at 25, <laughs> and then at 32. And, I mean, no one sees him coming because you're like, oh, I forgot he did that. Yeah, I probably could, could run. Yeah. yeah. I think that was his last game at Nayland Stadium. Oh, yeah. I saw him that night. Did I ever tell the story? I saw him. Uh, I saw him at a, a diner that night. I want to. I can't remember the diner's name, and everybody in UT knows it. It's like a sandwich place. Gus's. Gus's. And so we're in there, and I'm just like with other my buddies, and I'm just they're you know I'm just like making fun of like Peyton Manning, and I was like, I go, he's the worst, dude. you know, whatever. We just lost, so I'm, they're all laughing, and I was like, I, I you know I said, I, I mean, I literally was like, I'll fight him, dude. I don't even care. And then he walks in. <laughs> With one of his linemen. And they're like, well, there he is. Just go do it. And I was like, well, maybe. I'll probably go up there in a second. And then, I mean, I just didn't even talk yeah. to him. I mean, he's, he brings it. Well, he brought a lineman. If he was alone, I would have went after him hard. He walks around that lineman everywhere. Yeah. You're like, your center's everywhere, man? And then, like, Travis with Jay Cutler, how he can stand. And then he met him, and it was like Keith Hernandez and, yeah. and Newman. Yeah, yeah. He loves him. JP SC. The Tar Heels mascot is a ram because in the 20s, a cheerleader suggested we should have an animal mascot like other teams. So they decided on a ram because the fullback Jack Merritt's nickname was the Battering Ram. Cheerleaders had a lot of say back in the 20s. I know. Uh, Isn't that crazy? <laughs> well, they were I mean, just getting started. Yeah. You know what? I mean, can you imagine if they would let now, if like a cheerleader just walked over to Nick Saban and was like, hey, I talked to you for a second. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if I'm buying this, you know, Crimson Tide. Like, what does that mean? You know, we've got an elephant. What is Crimson Tide? The Alabama Buffaloes. There you go. We would like that. <laughs> Alabama Buffaloes. That's at least, what's a Crimson Tide? I think the, is it the red clay down there on the Gulf? Oh, oh I thought it was just like a metaphorical, the Crimson Tide, the wave is coming to get you. Like, watch out. Yeah. The happy I elephant. I don't think they thought about that much down there. Uh <laughs> <laughs> That's, I'm gonna get made. My wife's an Alabama fan. My whole family, the, <laughs> Laura's all Alabama. So y'all win every time. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. They're gonna win again this year. Uh, unfortunately. Yeah. Ryan Coleman. That is crazy, though. Just to gloss over that cheerleader suggestion. 20, I like the 20s because people could just, any you could walk up to the president. Free like, for all back. You should then. do uh, coins. Why don't you do like 50 cent quarter coins in the president? But that's a good idea. Uh-huh. <laughs> I like that. I think he listed the cheerleader's name. I took it out because it was a, kind of hard to pronounce, but I think it was a specific guy on the team, that cheerleading squad. That oh, a male cheerleader. I think it was, yeah. Oh. Oh. The most jacked guy on the field. Yeah. He's just like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> Ryan Coleman, a North Carolina episode with no mention of one of the greatest athletes who has ever walked the earth, who went to high school and college in the state. Unbelievable. That is very true. So the North, we just got to the North Carolina stuff kind of late. Yeah, and uh, I think we're actually doing another North Carolina episode. We ended up being able to talk to, to Reap so long about like comedy and all this mm-hmm. stuff. So it was like at the end, we honestly should have just kept going about comedy. Yeah, and we kind of threw some North Carolina in there. So we'll probably do a whole. This, but ah, uh, yes, Jordan. <laughs> Is that who they were talking about? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh oh boy. Uh, Asadu Rivardo. <laughs> If that's is, <laughs> no, I think you nailed it. Acido Rivardo. I would say acido. Acido. Oh, come on. I'm just going on that nit, nitpicky. <laughs> I did the fact that it's a a c i d e a u x. Yeah, I always think of go, the Go Tigers when yeah. LSU writes it. Acido. Like that. Rivardo. 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 Yeah. I like that name. Uh, in regard to the English colony that vanished, it makes sense when you realize North Carolina is second in hurricanes. Native Americans refused to live year-round on those barrier islands, which is why the English English settled there. Most likely, a massive storm destroyed their settlement, and the Croat what is it Croatoan Croatoan tribe helped their survivors. There were legends of blue-eyed Indians who they thought were descendants of the English settlers. Decades later, mm. sounds like it's written by someone that was being pretty favorable to the truck. They go, they go and I, I'm joking, that's when they go, no, 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 it wasn't us. And you're like, all right, I don't know if I buy it. You blame it on hurricanes? <laughs> you know, we'll get a letter from a hurricane next week that's going, come on. I My my grandfather was a hurricane back then, <laughs> and he would never do something like that. Uh, I think we're solved it, though. That makes the most sense ever to me. Uh-huh. I like that you can just solve it that quick. 
Yeah. You know? The hurricane. Some yeah. blue-eyed Indians. Uh, yeah. That makes complete sense. Mm-hmm. Blue-eyed Indian. I mean, they could run the world. <laughs> Sounds like a Nick comment. What does yeah. that mean? <laughs> I don't know. Just I feel like when you got those blue eyes and... Yeah. And, and you're Indian? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Skin tone. I mean, just they would be, super, you know. Nate is Everybody big... would just stare at your eyes, and then you could just tell people what to do. I have blue eyes. Frank huh? Sinatra. Yeah, but you don't feel like more of a bull. <laughs> uh, I feel like you'd be like, don't let him in the store. Would they would They make you and your little stand outside? <laughs> Y'all go to like an antique shop, and like they'd be like, get <laughs> you your boy, wait. get the big one out. Chain him up outside. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> You got to settle it when he's on the bus. You know, all right, wait a minute. Watch where he's walking. You know? <laughs> he goes. <laughs> yeah. He goes. That's you get a go. Whoa, beep, beep. That's what Nick does. <laughs> when he starts backing down. Yeah, we're in slim down a time. I know, we yeah. We slide right by each other. Uh, he's we on- did it last night or this yeah. morning. Yeah. We were just like. It's unbelievable. Yeah. It used to be always had to open the bus when we parked. <laughs> you yeah. had to slide out. You had to slide <laughs> open out. Just so I could get through. I'd walk out in the cul-de-sac and make an announcement. Aaron's coming out. Aaron. Aaron is coming out. I mean, I, I used to fear it. Every time I would open up the, you know, the cubby in the bunk, I'd be like, is Aaron going to hit me? And now, you yeah. know, he can just dive anywhere. Now you're just being Mr. mean, Slim. Nick. I mean... Uh, <laughs> No one went with me there, so it didn't feel <laughs> we were mean. All having fun. <laughs> That's all right. You took it to a real place. It, it yeah. felt really mean. Aaron yeah. size is his, his own problem. So. Thank you. So yeah. is mine. He's okay. All right. William Roberts. <laughs> I had Bell palsy about eight months ago. Unfortunately, it hit me about 20 minutes into the first date I had been on in two years. <laughs> Needless to say, I am still a single dad. <sighs> Man. That's tough because you just get there and you're like, she's like, you need any baggage? He goes, oh. Yeah, there's some. <laughs> and then your face just, and you're like, you know. You just sit across the table from each yeah. other. You yeah, he just face goes. Slowly uh, he's just down. like. You can just feel I it coming know. on. Yeah. Oh, God. You might as well set your pill case with the days on them just right out. <laughs> By the way, I think I'm going to get one of those. You got to do it, man. I got to do it. I've been holding <laughs> off, and I, I asked Laura quietly, privately. I said, I think I need one of those. It's tough to keep track, man. Do you do it? No, but I yeah. I understand the benefit of it. What pills yeah. do you have to take? So many that you have to keep up with. Just vi- like, your vitamins yeah, and yeah, stuff, yeah, yeah. everything. And then, uh, but like you just end up, you know, you can't you see a tree. Do you do that? I don't even know what we're talking about. You know what? those <laughs> pills with the days on it: Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Oh. Those pill, pill dividers. Case? Yeah. No, you don't do that. No, emergency. That's it. You just take emergency every day. Yep. And yeah. cortisone. Cortisone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I need it. You know? What did we have? What did we want to ask about your glasses? Because tell him. So Nick has the worst <laughs> eyesight. So have I shown? Uh, yeah, I'm on my phone. So uh, here's Nick. If yeah. you, you will, if you ever see Nick on the road and Nick's looking at his phone, I promise you, this is how Nick looks at the phone. He, goes, <laughs> <laughs> he does this. And, and I'll be like, he's like, oh. And then you could come up and he's like, oh. And that's how much he looks. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So his eyesight is horrible. My eyesight is really bad. He mm-hmm. went to a doctor, his eye doctor. He goes, one eye doctor. And what did he tell you? He tells me that I have a eye disease, keratosis. I think I'm pronouncing it wrong, yeah. possibly. Uh, but basically, my cornea, I'm like looking through the cornea. So I need like a cornea transplant or hard contact lenses. He's like, get them if, you, if, it's gonna, if your life is like... You can't take it anymore. So for me, I, I squint. I do look a little close, but uh, you know, it's Nate know, loves it. He told you you can't have glasses. That's yeah. I probably should see another eye doctor. That's but. that's the thing that seems crazy. Look, maybe it's true. I don't, I'm not saying it's not, but that's what seems crazy to me. The, he says you, you're like, why can't you have glasses? Yeah. Like yeah. I don't like if you can have hard contacts. Maybe it needs to be surrounded your whole eye or something. But. Yeah. I would think you could have a glasses. shot at least. I know. Yeah. I mean, I may just start wearing glasses just for you know for you guys, and then I'm like, they don't even work. Well, I just I have them on. Once you get hit by a bus, dude, <laughs> like you don't, you, you, I mean, you, I, I'll watch. We're when we we went to a buffet this weekend, and uh, 
And they, and I like watch you how close, you won't notice us until pretty close. <laughs> you get, you know, you, and we play NBA 2K, you can't see the screen, you can't. Yeah. And it's a big TV that you're three feet from. <laughs> <laughs> Do you wear soft contact lids? I don't wear anything. No. I'm keeping it natural. They've told him they're dangerous. driving around. Yeah. He's driving around. <laughs> LASIK is that an option? No, no. It's the cornea. Yeah, but yeah, it's funny. Nate loves it. He loves to, you know. And in, in the buffet, in fairness, it's not like this is a big buffet. All right, yeah. I, I'm a big Chinese food fan, so the Asia corner was like the far corner. Yeah, so I had to walk all the way there. Were you and, at Ryan Steakhouse? Uh, no, buffet. no, this is a Golden buffet Corral? in, um, no, buffet. Like, uh, in like Cleveland. A casino. They have a casino yeah. buffet at the, attached to the hotel. Shout out to that casino. That was fun. We were there yeah. pretty late, actually, yeah. this morning. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it was fun. It was a good time. Yeah. Like one. Yeah. yeah. No, we left at 11, I think. <laughs> you know, 11.30. He's like, yeah, we were yeah. in bed by nine. We watched uh, the sunrise there, yeah. dude. <laughs> I mean, I think we went to bed at 2.30, 2, 2.30. But the buffet was so spread out that, it, that you know, between plates, Dick was like planning his voyage out <laughs> Out yeah. back to the so he was like, I'm anyone want to come to Asia with me, real quick? Yeah. And it was a way he walked down there where you're like, All right, man, we'll see you when you get back. We'll take a picture of him before and after. <laughs> that was my exercise, too, yeah. though. I had to walk to Asia, you yeah. know, it was like the far corner, yeah. Long walk, man. Long walk, yeah. Uh, all right, so uh, yeah, we'll just see. Someone maybe knows your eye thing, if that makes sense, yeah. Because I'm, I bet you I, there's an eye doctor like you are seeing the wrong. I'll, I'll also be honest that I did try to go for a new you know, appointment with my eye doctor. They're not there anymore. So <laughs> they're they, gone. <laughs> they're gone. <laughs> I wanted to keep going to the same eye doctor because yeah. they were tracking like the the pr my eyes are awful. They were getting worse yeah. and worse. So I'm like, I want to keep going to the same eye doctor. Yeah. I tried to make an appointment about a month ago and I look up you know, the office and it's no longer an office. And so you got to go to someone new. <laughs> now I got to go to someone new. There you go. Uh -huh. Yeah. They left. Watch it. Really. It wasn't really an eye doctor. Like no. they just, I just was like going to a dentist yeah, and they were see like, that guy you know, in one of your like auditions one day, <laughs> he's like sitting next to you and you're like, Dr. Frankel. <laughs> like, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. He's a good doctor. Now. I think Colgate, you owe Colgate an apology. Cause the last episode you're on, you're like, it looks just like quarter zone. <laughs> Shame on them. I had, I had a lot of people saying there were there were people that said they did the same thing. Yeah. Reached out to me. Colgate versus quarter zone. They look a lot alike. Yeah. I got a lot of people relating to putting quarter zone in their mouth. So yeah. there's people, there there's mix out there. There's mix. <laughs> are you a mick? That's what they are. <laughs> we are a mick at some point. Mm -hmm. Ryan Bushbeck. I was wondering what the light is that they put in the back for the comedy shows. So I was very invested when Nate started to explain it. And as soon as John started guessing the venue names, I just knew they were going to get sidetracked and never come back to fully explain. Uh, yeah, we, we got sidetracked a lot. So the light is, uh, so it's either a flashlight or they're like, do this to you, like your phone. Like they're just be like, they wave the phone in the back. And uh, so it's, and it's to let you know how much time you have left. So you can let the light be whatever. So when I headline, I don't really do it at theaters now. I have a clock now in theaters just because I'm kind of keeping an eye. I know where I want to be in a set. Like I know what, like I want to I know what joke I want to be at at 30 minutes. I can usually tell where I'm going to hit if I'm in the, this one joke that I have. If I'm at 30 minutes, I'm like, all right, I'm good. And so, but when you first start, you're doing five minutes. So they light you at three minutes. Or four minutes. You get a light. So four minutes, they light you. You have one minute left. Yeah. And then eventually you go 15. So when we're in New York, I'm doing 15-minute spots. They light us at 12. That's the kind of usual. You can ask for whatever you want. Yeah. But the if you don't ask, it's like they leave you a three-minute light, start wrapping it up. Uh, and then when you start headlining, uh, you you first would you do 45 minutes. You get light at 40, five-minute light. Uh, but then towards the end, I would always get a light at like 45 if I was doing an hour. So someone lets me know, hey, you're at 45 minutes. And then you go, okay, and you start getting out of it. Mm -hmm. So that's what the light is. The light is great unless you have eye problems. And uh, it's <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't challenging see it. to see. So see does light. I can see light, but like a regular light, <laughs> yeah. when it's like a little, like, you know, a little, little kind of tiny one, a little flashlight thing that's like, ooh. Zanies did, uh, mm -hmm. Zanies does a flashlight. And then, but some places have specific lights where they flip a switch. Yeah. Uh, New York always has that. Uh, 
a lot of New York places have. They just flip a switch in the back. You see like a red light bulb go on, and mm-hmm. then you know, like, all right, it's time. The Laughing Skull in Atlanta. I think I've said this before, but their light is a big light that says this is the light. Oh, <laughs> really <laughs> big. So they're yeah. like, there's no way you miss that. Yeah, it yeah. says this, this is, is the light. light. Uh-huh. That's funny. Uh, they did, uh, what was I doing? Oh, I did one show. I did a show once where a lady gave me a light, and she was new. And so I was like, you're headlining. And so when you're headlining, you tend to like, when you're headlining at clubs, uh, people, they you say, light me at like 45, and then you just, you kind of can get off when you want to get off. That's the deal. And so I don't think she realized that. So she lit me at 45, and then uh, <laughs> lit me again, like, I think right when we were near like 50, then 55, and then at an hour. And I don't I don't go long, but I did like maybe an hour and two minutes. Mm-hmm. And and she was like, it was a small room, and it was like a cop light. <laughs> so it's so obvious that it's – because, I mean, when it would hit me, you would see it behind me. <laughs> so you're just seeing this light, and I keep going like, all right. Like you just usually – so usually they you, you like nod. Like you just be like – you just, you know – you know, if you ever see a comic, just go like his head up. He's just letting the person in the back. I see it. Yeah. You know. But there's another kind of fun thing with the light too, where sometimes if the light's already on before you get there yes. and you don't notice it until you're like one yeah. or two minutes in or a couple minutes in, and then you're like, are they lighting me? Like, am I just bombing? And they're yeah. like, get them off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and then you see it cut off at like five minutes, and you're like, I don't know what's happening. You know, <laughs> if they flash the light, that means off now. So, like in in just New York, like if, so, if so, in, if Chris Rock came in and was going to go up, and they want you off, they would just flash. They just kind of flash it to go like, hey, someone's here. Mm-hmm. So like, you know, they just this joke. They just call up. someone in to just punch you in the face. Get them off. Get yeah. them off. <laughs> Get them off. Because they want whoever next, Chris Rock's here, so he's going to go up. So they just like you know do that. I'm on stage. I see Nate up in the booth with the light. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Get him off. Uh-huh. Get him off. Towel under the door. When my dad was in college, he heard they were changing the Coca-Cola recipe. He rushed out and bought four six-packs, convinced that they would be worth a fortune someday. We still have one of the six-packs, and each can today is worth a whopping $1.50. <laughs> that is, that is up $1.50 a can. I mean, he's like gas station prices. <laughs> true. That's pretty good. That's At least true. It took him 40 years. It took him 40 years to get like at a gas station. I love the way that he thinks, though. I think you should think like that. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's going to pay off someday if it yeah. hasn't already yeah. in something else. Yeah. Have you done something like that? I mean, I collect baseball cards with the thinking that, 20 30 years from now they'll be valuable yeah they which most of them probably won't be but we, you, you got to cling to that belief we did our my parents did beanie babies for abigail my sister yeah and then uh i didn't get anything i didn't collect anything from <laughs> uh, abigail got everything and so they're but yeah like we would do i remember getting uh 9-11, I got a newspaper the next day, and I kept it. Wow. And I remember, well, we still uh-huh. have it. And I kept uh-huh. it. And that's the only thing I kept is like, oh, well, if we have kids one day, you know, mm-hmm. see the news, the actual newspaper from the, yeah, the that's, next, that that's day. Yeah, that's cool. But that was like, I mean, I, that's the only thing I, I was like, oh, you could take it. She could take it to school or he or mm-hmm. whatever. I feel like you would have just kept the sports section of that. <laughs> <laughs> like, Yeah, what was going on in sports? Yeah. Yeah. What did you were gonna say? I just stole it away. <laughs> you just say not eleven. I thought you were gonna say you went out and bought something really. Yeah, nice. that's what I thought you, were about. you know, the well, streets were empty, so I thought it was a good time to go shopping. Oh no, no, I went and bought the magazine. Like, I mean, the newspaper. Yeah, though, like uh, I think maybe a few of them, just because it was like such a crazy thing. Mm-hmm. And you'd always see those newspapers of like Pearl Harbor, man lands yeah. on yeah. moon, that yeah. kind of stuff. And you're like, oh, that's crazy to see that. You know, when Harper was born, I bought her. Uh, was it Harper's Bazaar? Yeah, magazine. Magazine for yeah. that date. Yeah. Hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. That was nice. Life. Yeah, yeah. She still reads it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Joshua Nelms. Fun fact about Pepsi: In the eighties, they made a deal with the Soviet Union. The Soviets received Pepsi, and Pepsi received seventeen submarines and three warships, enough equipment to make them the sixth largest military. In the world at the time. And that's why I like Pepsi. <laughs> Communist soda, dude. I, well, I, like to, I like my soda to have uh, submarines. <laughs> I don't think that's weird to want that. I like that they're going to be there at all times in warships. 
If there's a nuclear winter, Nate's still going to be able to have his, you know. I tell you what, the old days, there's just never nothing. Nothing's going to be like that ever, like the old days. Uh, (laughs) Good old days. I mean, just like, what would you be as a company? You're like, hey, can you give us 17 submarines and three wars? Like, who's even? (laughs) Well, I looked this up because I thought this doesn't even sound real, but it is real. Um, Is real. Um, (laughs) They uh, brought Pepsi to the Soviet Union. Soviet Union money was no good at that time mm-hmm. so they're like we well, got to give us something else so they gave them all this war equipment and then pepsi sold it to some swedish uh scrapyard or something just for the for the metal what oh. if pepsi just attacked coke they're like that's it we're going to war that's what they should have done <laughs> and they they messed up they sold it yeah i got a bunch of submarines how many things you'll take how do you even know the number yeah like how do you go like 17 feels right how do you logistically how does this work so does pepsi send people over and they just go pick up the submarines and drive it over to sweden the article didn't say they had to hire well, i'm just thinking well think about it they have to hire In the 80s it's, it's the 80s. russian they it's russian them. submarine pilots you know that are like bringing it in I, it seems like this stuff didn't work because they just did yeah. the scrapyard. Okay. It's probably old equipment, and then they just sold it to this place. That's like parts. when you, yeah, you trade something, someone's like, I got this, but you got to go run an errand to get your money, and you're like, ah, just give me the money. Like, I don't want to, <laughs> uh-huh. you know. I mean, originally they did traded rum, and then the next time it was too much, so they are like, you got to give something more, and it was military. 17 equipment. submarines. <laughs> That's a big leap up. Yeah, from rum. <laughs> Pepsi's crushing it, too, that they're like, all right, we'll give you 17 submarines. How do you, yeah, how do you go? Like, how does one person's got to go? I think I got an idea. <laughs> and, I, and you got to hope that Pepsi's like, all right, I'll do it. Yeah, whoever is like selling that is like, here's what my idea is. Hear me and you out. Gotta, in a boardroom, yeah. be like, we would like 17 submarines. And then three warships. Three yeah. warships. Y'all got that? They go, we got more than, we got plenty. Throw in one more, and uh, I don't know. Tag Gaming, T A G Gaming, Gaming. Yeah, I think it's yeah. maybe it's company or something. G A M I N G. I live in Hickory, North Carolina. We once had a funeral at the cemetery next to the racetrack. They had to delay the practice for the race for my grandmother's funeral. They kept calling the funeral director to ask if we were done yet. <laughs> and at the end of the funeral, we just hear cars start up and run laps. <laughs> I mean, can you imagine? I mean, I, I, I honestly think that's what I'd want as my funeral. I think it'd be nothing would be funnier than just go, we done? He goes, they're done. And just, I mean, the second the casket you're closed. You're getting lowered in. He's like, rrr, 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 and, you're like, and everybody has to get distracted. I love that. I think that's so funny. Uh, so, uh, all right. Uh, we all talk to our friends when we are going through things, but they do not always give. Your friends don't give you the best advice. You have friends like this. They don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> Getting feedback and advice from a licensed professional can be way more helpful. Facing obstacles is not easy, and you do not win a prize for doing it alone. Over 50% of Americans struggle with their mental health. We all need help sometimes. It's a great thing to get this. It's a great thing to talk to someone. Sometimes you guys just talk to someone uh, and you be alone. Uh I think if you are looking for someone to talk to, you can go to Talkspace. They make it so easy to match with a licensed therapist and schedule live video sessions, all from the comfort of your device. You can start messaging your therapist the same day you sign up at Talkspace. Your privacy and security are their number one priority. The app puts you in a private room with just you and your therapist. Send messages 24-7, replies, no need to wait for a weekly appointment. Uh, Talkspace therapists are experts in dozens of specialties, including anxiety, depression, relationships, and more to help you start feeling better. Join Talkspace today and start moving forward with a single message. Just visit Talkspace.com and get $100 off your first month when you use promo code Nate at sign up. That's $100 off at Talkspace.com, promo code Nate. Uh, Also, Scribd. With today's endless amounts of content across multiple platforms, trying to find a book or audio book or podcast takes forever. I mean, I give up a lot. So you go to Scrib. Scrib, you get access, instant access to millions of ebooks, audiobooks, magazines, and more. You also get thoughtfully selected editor's picks, smart recommendations. Uh, Wired, TechCrunch, Forbes is called a Netflix for books. Just like streaming service for TV today, we have access to so much content at our fingertips. 
I mean, the same thing goes for books. Instead of standing in front of a bookshelf waiting for a title to jump at you, sign up for Scribd, scroll through, you can look. It's going to make you read more. You're going to have to pick more. I've listened to, I mean, I have Scribd. I've listened to podcasts, audio books on the road. It's so easy to have it all in one place, even reading the books. I like reading. But Scribd, the world's most, I mean, you know, I don't read a ton, but I, <laughs> I, I do. I go to Scribd. But Scribd, that's what the thing should be. I don't read a lot, but when I do, <laughs> I do it at Scribd or Scribd. I know people always. Mm-hmm. Uh, with Scribd, the world's most fascinating libraries at your fingertips, all for just $9.99 a month. Right now, Scribd is offering our listeners a free 60-day trial. Go to tryscribd.com slash Nate for your free trial. Be sure to use that address because it is normally a 30-day free trial, but our listeners get 60 days. That's try, try, T-R-Y dot S-C-R-I-B-D dot com slash Nate. 60 days of Scribd for free. Paintyourlife.com. Uh, we ordered a painting <clears throat> that I, uh, I thought of from using, so I, I had two pictures of Harper. We had a picture of Harper looking at a horse, like she, in one of her, she, you know, she's obsessed with horses. And so it was like a fake, uh, the, she was looking at like a statue horse and it's her looking at it. And then, so I had an idea where I was like, you know what, we're, we're, you can do this thing where paintyourlife.com, they paint the picture and then we put her favorite horse at her horse camp is this horse named flame and so we put a picture of flame and then put harper and then made it oh, where it looks like awesome. so harper's looking at her favorite horse flame and uh it's awesome because they just take the picture <clears throat> and then they do it it makes it super easy if you i mean look christmas is coming it's here if you're looking for a special gift for someone this holiday season something truly unique and personal we've got a great idea for you at paintyourlife.com you can have an original painting by a world-class artist done by hand from any photo at an affordable price. Get a professional hand-painted portrait created from any photo at a truly affordable price. Send any picture, yourself, children, family, special place, cherished pet. Combine photos. That's what we did. One of Flame, one of Harper, and just put it in. You can order a custom-made hand-painted portrait in less than five minutes. Uh, it takes about three weeks. It's a quick and easy process. At paintyourlife.com, there's no risk. If you don't love the final painting, your money is refunded, guaranteed. And right now, as a limited time offer, get 20% off your painting. That is right, 20% off and free shipping. To get this special offer, text the word NATE to 64000, 64,000. That's NATE to 64,000. Text NATE to 64,000. Paint your life. Celebrate the moments that matter the most. And finally, uh, HelloFresh. <clears throat> which you guys have recently just, mm-hmm. just yeah. did it last night. It was great. Yeah. <clears throat> Y'all quick, cook the dinner. Yep. Quick and easy. And they mm-hmm. just smell it, deliver it to your house. And it's, it's yeah. very good. Yeah. yeah. Have you signed up for it? Oh yeah. yeah. I got a bunch. I let all the ingredients are in the little containers. It's super easy. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's awesome, man. Yeah. Laura's been doing HelloFresh for way before we started reading about it on this ad. I'm, and HelloFresh is just great. It's like, it comes in. Have you ever done it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's great. Yeah, yeah I love it. it. It's the I best. love it. The ingredients are there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, just I cooking. still make my own. I don't follow the ingredients. I still just, you know. Do you still cook with no clothes on? <laughs> <laughs> you know, he did that. No, once. I did. No. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I mean, let me. Yeah, it's a whole thing. I'm sure Hello Fresh doesn't want to be attached. <laughs> yeah. To this. yeah, you might. I was gonna say but, you may want to separate. Yeah, the, uh, except, but uh, it's super easy. Hello Fresh offers 50 menu and market items to choose from every week, including vegetarian, calorie smart, and gourmet options. And they give it to you. You just go make it. You save on average over $65 per month when you order HelloFresh instead of grocery shopping. This is one of the, one of the things that you can sometimes think like it's more expensive. And then you're like, we're well, actually going to save money. Mm-hmm. And, and you, you're going to get a good thing. It is America's number one meal kit. So go to HelloFresh.com slash 14Nate and use code 14Nate for up to 14 free meals and three free gifts. That is HelloFresh.com slash Nate 14Nate. And use code 14 Nate for up to 14 free meals and three free gifts. HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit. All right. So Nick Wood. <laughs> so <clears throat> when we Dustin's here <clears throat> uh, as well, because he's on the road with us, Dustin Chafin. He'll be on. Uh, we're, we're recording a podcast with him too today. Me, Nick, Dustin, and Rich Ronovich all live together. <laughs> And I think Dustin, was it me or Dustin? It was Dustin. Yeah, Dustin. So we were all, like, we shared a two-bedroom 
apartment. Nate and I lived in a living room, yeah. literally a curtain. A curtain. We we hung up curtains <laughs> to be like hit. We shared a curtain, and then there was two curtains in the front on these hanging <laughs> wires. And so we would go. His room was huge. <laughs> my room was. You couldn't have fit this table in my room. I mean, it was not. It was just my part. I slept on a just a like a recliner that folded out to a bed. <laughs> and <clears throat> so we're all out one night. We're all doing spots, and Nick was staying in. Mm. Uh, so I'm gone. Rich is gone. Dustin leaves. Dustin walks out the door and gets I mean maybe not even half a block down and is like, oh, I forgot something. Comes back inside. Nick is standing at the oven, zero clothes on, <laughs> on a stool, on a stool cooking sausages, <laughs> kielbasa, kielbasa. So, and he's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> so here's what happens. I'll, I'll be honest. What? A lot of times I would, I'm running behind, you know, and I need to take a shower, but also I need to cook. Mm -hmm. So what I would do is I would turn the shower on because it would take a bit to get hot. No one's there. No one's going to be there. So yes, I am naked and I am making sausage (laughs) and I did get caught. And I was like, oh, and I I just, you know, there was nothing to say. I just had to apologize. Could you keep your clothes on at least till the shower got warm? In hindsight, I probably should (laughs) have. Yeah. How excited were you for the shower that you were like, I just got to get ready, you know? It was it was embarrassing. I had to get off the stool in the same kind of, I'm sorry. (laughs) I'm I'm holding a lot of different things, you know? (laughs) I mean, it's oh, it's so great. But you probably didn't get much uh, time alone in that apartment, right? No, so, so no. the second the second you're the only one there, you're like, I'm gonna make myself at home finally. <laughs> yeah. Well, what's so funny is like Nate and I would play video games until four in the morning, and then we just wake up. And we're like, Hey, how's it going? What's up? And yeah. we just, you know, we're- that's what Nick would always say. Cause <laughs> Nick's always like talks to you like he hasn't seen you in a few years, <laughs> and so we would play video games. We go to bed, wake up eight hours later, and he'd be like, What's up, man? How's it going? I'm like, Nick, we you're the last and first person I'm talking to, <laughs> and you're acting like I've just already had a day ahead of me. Like, how was today going? Like, <laughs> Uh, but the Dustin walking back in is just the best. Like just, I mean, how quick you, cause he barely was gone. Yeah. Within a couple minutes, you were just waiting for him to leave. Yeah. Well, you had a plan. I was getting ready for a show, yeah. you know, and I had limited time. Yeah. Probably didn't need to make that kibasa. I yeah. probably could have also <laughs> kept the boxers on in hindsight, yeah. hindsight. That wasn't saving a ton of time. No. But I was like, I gotta be ready for anything. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And I like <laughs> adventure. So. Would you have ate the kibasa in the shower? I, I may have. I don't yeah. even know. I, I mean, it's <laughs> the other story I wanted you to tell because you told us this weekend. Oh yeah, yeah. This From- this is an unreal story. <laughs> so we were in Cleveland and Pittsburgh, and the last time I was in Pittsburgh, this is years ago. When, I think when we we're all living together, there was a little people convention there, and it's the first time there. And now you know we go to little people conventions all over the country. This is a regional. And they're not in the city. They're usually right outside the city. Like in a convention center. Yeah. And it's like- Or, you know, or a hotel. And we just take yeah. it over. It's yeah. like, you know, we take over the and lobby. And so which region? So you do regional ones and then what's the, where's the big one at? The national one, that's where I met my wife, yeah. is, is you know, in a different city every year. Mm. But that's, you know, it could be 2,000 little people, 3,000 little people. Yeah. Regionals are smaller, but it's still like a great time. Yeah. So there's a regional in Pittsburgh. And it's, it's not in the city, but- the Saturday, you know, a group of little people are like, let's go and see downtown Pittsburgh. So this one girl, she has a new minivan. All right. These <laughs> we're all little people. Her dad just bought this new, brand new, beautiful minivan, accessible van, you know, very expensive. So we go into downtown Pittsburgh and everyone's drinking, you know, and and I'm not because, you know, it's early and I was just tired. Yeah. So the girl whose minivan it is, she only had like one beer, but she was like, I probably shouldn't drive. I was like, I'll drive. You know, yeah. I'm fine. <laughs> you know? And so now we're on the fourth floor of a parking garage yeah. that is on a very heavy, steep incline. Okay. Fourth <laughs> floor down. And so I get in very confident. Okay. I'm a good driver. Mm-hmm. And I, I start the car and I, and I, you know, put it, I put my foot on the brake now, and I put it in reverse. Now what happens is the pedal extension falls off yeah. the brake. So you have to, they, you put an extension so you, on, so I, obviously. So I drive with pedal extension. Yeah. So it's like a regular pedal, but there's two 
extended bars that mm. attach to the pedals. Yeah. One on the gas, one on the brake. So when I put the car in reverse and I put my foot on the brake, I don't know how, but my foot just knocks that brake pedal off. <laughs> so now all of a sudden, within a second, we are just full speed going backwards down on the fourth floor. And there's a guardrail where we could just go over five little people in this minivan. We're just dead. So real instinct. I'm like, look, I got to save us. So I just start hitting cars on the way. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. I'm slowing us down. And I hit seven cars. And now I get out and, she, you know, she is just like, I cannot believe this. <laughs> this is the brand new minivan my family has been saving for. And I just hit seven cars. I smashed. So now we have to just sit there and wait to tell all these people that I, along with these other five innocent little people just <laughs> smashed and destroyed all these cars i mean just so many people walking out like seven people like it's yeah. i mean possibly 15 people are walking out and you're like how you doing did you park on the fourth floor you gotta ask him like, yeah all right well we probably got some news for you uh, <laughs> and then we got to get back to the hotel later because this is the convention yeah and that's like the talk of the conference every little person knows what happens <laughs> like everyone's mad yeah. you know this family has been saving up for this minivan and this is years ago we're talking about 15 years ago but i actually saw that girl um you know i see her all the time but a couple years ago she's like you know we're still paying off for that <laughs> oh, <laughs> <sure>. <laughs> 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 Oh, poor girl. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh, man. You know, the, the insurance is not happy. Yeah. I mean, well, it's their fault if they, uh, well, I guess the, the, the. Well, it was an accident. Break. So yeah. luckily it was, it was all cover insurance, but. There's a lot of stuff asked him. I go, why don't you just like <laughs> press the brake and just like. I just, mean, real time. See, that's the yeah. thing. I could have just mm. let go of the wheel yeah. and just jumped under. Yeah. yeah. But then what happens if that doesn't go the good? The stops and doesn't hit. Yeah, yeah. probably. Yeah. Yeah. Probably, probably that's, <laughs> probably that was the best idea. But I was like, real time. I'm like, I'm going to be a hero. Yeah. Bam, bam, <laughs> bam, bam. In reverse. <laughs> In reverse. I like how you switched it up. You didn't just oh, yeah. stay on one side. Well, it's not. It's like there was car, car, car. So I figure if I hit this one car, <laughs> hit the other car. Into so it. I'm zigzag hitting. <laughs> You're like You're an action hero. movie, dude. <laughs> like that's what like an action movie does that. And, and when we were. You're Batman. <laughs> yeah, I am Batman. <laughs> <laughs> so when we were in Pittsburgh, though, everywhere we were going, I was like, is that the parking garage? You know, just yeah, like yeah. I just wanted to see it. Yeah. That's a uh, great story. Yeah. <laughs> so good. <laughs> I mean, it's like it's it's these stories that he just they they don't stop. <laughs> we should you should write a book. Yeah, how to park a car? You know? Yeah, no, just <laughs> the stories. <laughs> Did you guys yeah. just wait all day for people to come out to get to their car? I mean, it could have been a couple hours. You know, I think eventually we just started writing notes. Hey, sorry, I'm trying to explain it as quick as I can. Yeah, there was a pedal extension problem. <laughs> it wasn't my van. <laughs> I made a bad decision, <laughs> you know. <laughs> and no one even knows what it is. And then you start writing it all out in one, and then the the third letter is just like, sorry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did you talk to the people that came out? Some I mean, them? yeah, a couple of them, couple of them were pretty surprised. Yeah. yeah <laughs> were they say. super mad or are they cool? Well, or people they... are cool. You know, yeah. they, they realize it was an yeah. accident. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And every other little person was like, he's an idiot. We should have never let him drive yeah. this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you go, and we talked about your eyesight earlier. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you're still going to that doctor, <laughs> and then you do this. Oh, oh it's so good. Uh, well, this week we figured uh, a fun one, and Nick is uh, good to have on with us about. We're going to talk about the universe. You have a lot of universe questions. I do. Yeah, a bunch. So uh, Trying to figure it all out. Trying to figure it all out. Uh also, uh, I did want to say, because I just found out this uh, now, but I was nominated for uh, a Critics, the 27th Annual Critics' Choice Award. Whoa. There you go. Yeah, Congratulations. Man. I know, it's crazy. Congrats. Uh, I'm the only one clapping. Only so. one clapping. No one cares. <laughs> you know? I clapped once, and he's like, what are you doing? So. Yeah. <laughs> Best comedy special uh, in the world of all time. God, that's what it says. Uh, <laughs> it's uh, Bo Burnham, Joe Firestone, Jams. Uh, James, James, James Acaster, uh, Joel, Nicole Johnson, me, and Trixie Mattel. And uh, it's, yeah, it's crazy. That's very nice. I mean, you know what's crazy is like, I was, I told my sister, so Abigail started working for us and uh, 
last week. And so today I go, like, I get, first of all, I got a text about it. Like, you know, the Grammys was like, everybody's calling me. Mm-hmm. And then I just get a text about the, the Critics' <laughs> Choice Award. Like, I'm like, so we're just texting? Like, no one thinks this is crazy. And then I told Abigail, and then Abigail goes, oh, that's great. Uh, what do you want for lunch? Same sentence. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, are we not? And I and I called my mom. The only, I said, well, I'm going to call my mom. The only one that still will make me feel very <laughs> special about this. Because it's insane. That's crazy. It is insane, very nice. Man. Who texts you? Uh, like my... Management? Yeah. Yeah. Like my publicist, I think. Uh, mm-hmm. Rob Greenwald. And then so he texted me. and He's the one that... He, first, he just sent the list. And then I was like, well, I don't even know what that is. You're the only one who, I mean, those are all totally different people from the Grammy nomination. Yes. So you're the only one that's doing multiple nominations. Yeah. Well, Bo, Bo's bo got a Grammy nomination, but in another category. Yeah. But yes, for the comedy special. Bo's thing was great. Uh, but yeah, dude, it's crazy. It's insane. And that's because all these, all y'all watched and listened to what, I, you know, it's all of them. It's everybody. It's the audience. A lot of critics out there. And when is, when is the awards? I think I just saw it. I think it's January 9th I, uh, mm-hmm. or an email. Like, uh, I haven't, uh, I didn't know. January 27th annual Critics' Choice Awards will take place on Sunday, January 9th at the Fairmont Century Plaza in Los Angeles. Mm. So, wow. yeah. It's exciting. It's pretty awesome. Be in LA a lot in January for rewards. I know. Yeah. I know. I gotta see what we do with this. I guess you. I don't know if you go or like. Uh, you know, it's like some of the stuff I can't ever tell. You don't know if like they're like, no, nah, no, nah, we just no one cares about comedy. Yeah. <laughs> they might say that. There's yeah. a great chance of that. Like, uh-huh. no, nah, I don't know, dude. You can hang out. You can be a you can be a server if you want to serve the stars. Uh, we're just around all the other stars. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's crazy. Uh, so, uh, yeah. And then also, another that little fun fact we just found out. So we made a little stocks. Me and uh, Nick had to run to the bathroom real fast. Aaron Weber here yeah. has never uh, peed on an airplane. Never have. I've been flying a lot lately I, for whatever reason. Yeah. I, just, <clears throat> I never have. We were talking because that's the first time in like 80 episodes that we've stopped to use the bathroom. Did you know that? Yeah. I've, yeah. It's the first time we've done that. Yeah. So then Nick was saying he, like, you know, he has to time it. With yeah. how on planes and stuff, and I've never done it. I don't know what it looks like in there. I feel like for me, I I have a feeling like when I can't pee, that's when I need to pee. You yeah. know, I have that like, ah, yeah. I wish yeah. I had gone. Yeah, I'm I'm truly amazed that he's never peed on on a plane though. Yeah, that's crazy. That's like you know, he's from Alabama, they just started flying a couple of years ago. <laughs> <laughs> so that is true. I I didn't fly yeah. a lot as a kid or until the last couple of years. Yeah. But I've never flown more than like four hours. You can you can hold it four for four hours. hours? Yeah, uh, yeah. A, I mean, the that's dis- a, that's a very old man way to say it. For four hours, <laughs> <laughs> you go yeah. four Shoot, hours, man. With my large prostate now, <laughs> yeah. From my house to here, yeah. When I walked in, Nick saw me. I was like, I gotta go. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Martin Short has a great joke. Says uh, uh, the only time I don't have to pee is when I'm peeing. <laughs> uh, oh, and good. there yeah it's Bart Short uh, very funny guy probably gonna Pretty make good. it yeah <laughs> uh, they uh, yeah it's uh, I, I I mean I yeah I'll, I'll, I'll go to the bathroom and then uh, I'll pee on a plane uh, what was I I was gonna say something I don't know I was on a flight once where something upset my stomach and I had to go Oh my yeah. gosh! Oof. And by the time I came out, open the door, there was a line halfway. Oh, <laughs> oh, dude. I mean, I went back to my seat, and there were still people in line beside yeah. me because the line was so long. Wow! They're just looking at me like you did this. They just know here he is. <laughs> what do they say? Walking dead, uh, <laughs> dead, dead man, man walking. walking. <laughs> walking. They, was you on Southwest? <laughs> I can just picture Southwest. No, this oh. is actually a flight to Japan. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me. Pardon me. Pardon yeah. me. Excuse me. I mean, at least yeah. though, there's a lot of bathrooms. If that's like a small regional, and then it's like you know, there were there were two, two bathrooms. Wow. First one, class one, and then one in the back. No, there were two on each side, but uh, okay. in two long rows on this. It was a big foot, but my row 
it was all the way Did up. Did everybody, the uh, before they went in the bathroom, the person after you lights a cigarette <laughs> <laughs> and blows it in yeah. just, to, just, just to go? <laughs> everybody lit up cigarettes. This is back when people would smoke cigarettes. <laughs> was it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm in a flight to yeah. Japan. Were you flying Pan Am over yeah. there? <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's so good. I, I'm did, you ever, did you ever fly with people smoking? When did no. they stop smoking? When did they stop that? Uh, I'm, 80s, guessing the, right? I'm guessing the I'm guessing mid '90s. Oh, I want to say '90s. That's my guess. Oh really? Yeah. yeah, like I I don't I don't remember it. I remember. Uh, I mean, we never. I was. We never flew. I didn't fly till I was older. Uh, but I flew once when I was five because we had a funeral, and back kind of remember that flight. But I don't know if they smoked. 1990. They started to roll out regulation on it in the '70s. Oh. And then yeah. by 1990, that no smoking sign was permanently lit up. On all domestic, I products. would have uh, if they still had it. I would, I would have flown like now. I would have been like, "Well, I'm gonna go take a flight where you can smoke on it just to see what it is." Mm -hmm. You know, fine. just to be like, "That makes sense." That's when you do a comedy club and they smoke, and you're like, "Well, it's, you want to see it? You don't love it all the time, but it's like I don't know." Nate's just smoking a cigar, you know, hanging out. <laughs> no, I mean, I don't, I don't smoke that many cigars, but you're the cigar guy. Yeah, I do uh, love smoking cigars. Yeah. And then, uh, but yeah, I don't, uh, I don't know what it's trying to say. To my opinion, I've had to use the bathroom once like that. <laughs> after, so after Me I've go going to Mexico with Laura, but I, it wasn't. There was no like I got in and out, but it was like <laughs> right when you leave, you know, Mexico, it was like it just hit me, and it was like bad news. Mm -hmm. And then you got running. <laughs> I mean, are you just in there? You just so embarrassed, you know? Yeah, because people keep you hear them. Yeah. On the door, trying it. Yeah, and they can't hear you go. Someone's in here. <laughs> <laughs> that happened to my friend once. We went from Mexico and Tijuana back to the U.S. and the border crossing was a long line, mm. so you could take a bus and you pay like ten bucks, and you know, and then you're you're through way quicker. And my friend that we were there with ate like a street hot dog the night before. And it was a problem. And so they had this little bathroom and it's an emergency. And now this is like overcrowded bus of people trying to get back <laughs> in. And he is in there and then there's a stop. So it's not like it was supposed to just be like we're in and out in 20 minutes. We're on this bus for three hours and he's in there for about a half hour. He comes out. There's families like mad at him. They're yelling at him, you know. <laughs> and then he has to sit back down sweating. Sad. Mm, it's the worst. You would tell your temple story. Oh gosh, <laughs> you don't want to tell it. I mean, I'll tell it. It's funny. I'll tell. Uh -oh. it. So college. Yeah, oh, yeah, okay. yeah. This is a long time. I can't ago. wait. Yeah. So I mean, this. I'm. I'm not proud of this story. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's a college story. It's no a college one? story. Yeah. So Rutgers. Uh, this is Temple. This oh. is Temple. Okay. I, I'm lactose intolerant, so that's yeah. part of, you know. Let it out. Let who, everybody who know. I am. I'm lactose intolerant. I can't have milk. I'm I'm the annoying guy that's always like, can we hold the cheese? So I ate, you know, so I went on a date uh, with with this girl, and it's, you know, I'm we're eating something, and there happened to be dairy in it, yeah. and I did not know that. So we go to a bar, and <laughs> we're we're all hanging out at this bar that is overcrowded. Mind you, there's one bathroom in this bar, and it's a college. It's like a, a college bathroom. It's a college mm. bathroom in, like, we're talking about blocks and blocks from anything else. Okay? And so we go in there, and we're kind of partying. I'm on this date with this girl, mm -hmm. and it's a problem. And I know I need to, <laughs> I'm, it's like, this is not a problem that can last you 45 seconds. You start thinking about seconds. other yeah, I'm start starting to think, like, yeah. where can I go? I need, yeah. this is, this is going to happen right now. Now there's 15 people in this line and the door doesn't even close all the way into it's this in bathroom, bathroom. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and I'm on this date and I'm starting to sweat and I'm still <laughs> yeah. trying to like, you know, I'm yeah. not, you know, I'm like dating is not like, you know, the easiest to me at this time. And I'm like trying to be cool. Mm -hmm. And, and it's like, I, I now have seconds from when this is just uncontrollably possibly problem right here, yeah. you know? Yeah. And so I end up having to just go around the bar. And mind you, this is Behind, North Philly. Outside. This is North Philly. North Philly is is definitely a lot better now. But at, at that time, there was like abandoned buildings, and there would be grass, and there, you know, you're you're, you're blocks away from anything else mm -hmm. in a really dangerous area. Mm -hmm. But there's just grass outside the bar, and so I just, I'm like talking to this girl. I'm like, 
uh, I gotta get a call. And I'm just like, make up like a call. Cell phones are not invented yeah. at this point. <laughs> <laughs> and so I run around. I, I gotta run around. And unfortunately, that was it. You know, just, just out in the grass. Out, out in the grass yeah. behind this barn. <laughs> oh my gosh. What'd you do then? Yeah. How'd you, did you just go home? Well, they have a baby together. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> We're married. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So basically, I came back in and it was, uh, you know, the day kind of ended pretty much. Yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah. I'm sorry. Bye. Yeah. Um, I gotta get out of here. <laughs> here's my business card. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Call me. That's so funny. Yeah. It just like, I mean, you get that those points though. And you're like, what are you going to do? You know, yeah. it just, you know, there, I had no choice. Nothing, you had no choice. There's nothing you you got to think everybody, everybody on earth has that moment. Like oh, billionaires yeah. have been in situations yeah. where like they, you, it happens. Absolutely. You got to go. Yeah. There's no, yeah, there's, it's, it's, it is what it is. But I'm still just, I can't believe that he has the ability to be like, well, I'm not going to go. He can hold it four hours. Like there's like, maybe there's like a deep seated. Do you drink one anything? <laughs> I drink water. I'll get a Diet Coke on the, on yeah. the, on the plane. One of his parents like yelled at him like, you will not go. You know, it's like yeah. a deep seated. You can't. I yeah. try to go right before I board, mm -hmm. you know. The short flights I get, uh, I've started drinking this weekend. I started drinking so much water. Uh, I think like I, I'm going to end up just eating better out of pure like my body just won't let me mm -hmm. like that's what happens is that what happens mm -hmm. you just have no choice you're like it is what it is like I can't like I started this weekend like I, I think I drink water and then for the past month I've been like my I feel like my gums are, like I just felt like I'm like oh I'm dehydrated and I finally figured it out like after I was trying I was like what could it be you know and finally, I was like, I think I'm dehydrated. And mm -hmm. so I started drinking, like, try to drink four liters of water. So I drank this weekend, I was drinking four liters of water or the past two days. And I would just pound them. And I'm like, almost like can't even get myself up to being, but it's like, I'm just keep pounding water. Yeah. And like, you're just like, I guess I have to drink four liters of water. And you today. feel better after doing yeah. that? Yeah. I mean, I would sometimes feel lightheaded, like, after a show. And I was like, well, maybe I'm not eating mm -hmm. like I should or something. And then I think it's this, I just think it's water. I think I was mm -hmm. so, I think I drink water. But then you re you really look at it and you yeah. go like I ain't drinking water like yeah. I have I fill one cup up a day like you know I have mm -hmm. sips of water and then I have diet Pepsi and I'm not even drinking a ton of those I drink I drink them with a meal so I might mm -hmm. have two to three a day uh, and then you know so it's like yeah I'm just not drinking and uh, and I realized that and food food now is like it's getting close where you can start feeling it you're like. Just makes me too tired, and I Hello, just don't feel good. What two in the morning? Did we not eat fried stuff? I didn't. That oh, was like self control. Yeah, yeah I ate. Yeah, uh, that was well done. A burger. I'm tell you, I felt it in the morning too. Oh, yeah. I had that <laughs> burger late. Yeah, yeah. I, I got was a all right. coffee like at five o'clock before the show, and Leah yeah. said, "I can't do that. I'd be up all night." And she says, "Is Nate?" Dude, I said, "Nate will have a diet Pepsi at midnight. Yeah, or just whenever, right? Yeah. Like you never stop." Oh yeah, but it's gonna. It's it's wrapping up. Yeah. <laughs> it's, you can feel just everything, just kind of like, all right, dude. You know, you do, you really you don't have a choice. You yeah. can either fight through the way you feel and just ignore it and be like, or you got to go like, oh. And I've realized now with how everything's getting so busy, I won't be able to do what I want to do. Mm -hmm. So what I if I want to keep going ahead and I want to keep moving forward and do all these shows and blah blah blah, if I keep eating bad I, i'm not gonna have the energy to do it I, and, and i'm gonna you get you're gonna get sick you're gonna get it's like it's you're miserable you're not in a good mood and then you know and i mean the the dehydrated thing was crazy i was like my mouth is so dehydrated and it's been like that for a month and i just kept thinking what is it and it would help you know i drink something and then it would go good and i'm like i think it's all just caught up i haven't ever been i've been drinking water for like two months and so then it's just like hits you and then you're like well it's done now yeah you know so we'll see I've been pounding it. I've always been just amazed. I mean, living with you, I literally for years had not seen Nate drink a sip of water. Like, <laughs> I mean, he's like brushes his teeth with Diet Pepsi. Like, yeah. he does not know no water. Yeah, the pictures show it. That, uh, <laughs> old pictures show it. I mean, that's even like, I didn't, but back then when you're younger, you don't feel, you don't feel, like, I never paid attention to my body. Like, they tell you mm -hmm. to listen to your body, and, like, I just never told yeah. my body to shut up. Yeah, you're like, or eat McDonald's. I'm the boss of this. I'm the boss. Don't tell me what to do. <laughs> yeah. And then now you're like, oh, I can't do, I mean, look, we had the buffet. I ate horrible this weekend. We had those burgers last night. I was starving. We didn't have, I didn't have anything. Uh, today I'm eating something for lunch that's a little bit better. Like, you know, you just, I mean, got a chicken salad sandwich. Yeah. Uh I don't even really eat though. It's like at least we're working our way down to like that sounds like an adult 
like lunch. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, it's crazy. All right, the universe. <laughs> <laughs> Let's dive into the universe. We're just one little piece of this big, big universe. We're just a little small speck, Nick. Yeah. It's I feel like we should have Elon Musk. The blue dot. Try to try to tap him in. Yeah. Tap him in. You Call got a him. you got a connection to Elon? I wish I did. Well, how are we gonna do that then, Nick? I don't know. All right. <laughs> uh uh you did you say blue dot? Yeah, the pale blue dot. Pale blue dot. That was Carl Sagan. Right. And when I think it was the Voyager two was leaving our solar system, and they're just everyone had just been shooting the camera out. He's like, turn it around and shoot it back toward us. And there's a picture of just how small and insignificant oh, we wow. are. And and what? So what? Who was out there? That's uh one of our uh, Voyager two, one of our yeah. uh, spaceships that we've sent out. It's now left our solar system. And, and they're like, we just sent it. Are people on it? No. <laughs> no. No, no, just sent one out there. <clears throat> yeah. Voyager 1 and Voyager 2. This is we've talked about this on a previous episode. They put gold plated records on there. Yeah, oh yeah. That's yeah. this is the thing that they did. Yeah. 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 And it'll go on, they think, for you know, no centuries. Yeah. Maybe forever. Like if yeah. it, it, it'll hit nothing. It just keeps going. Yeah. That's so crazy. Yeah. But he wrote this thing about how everything in the history of mankind, every life, every heartbreak every it's very well put it's happened that little bitty pale blue dot and yeah. you start thinking about it and it's pretty crazy yeah, yeah it's like every king every war every hmm. peasant everything every love every heartbreak everything i mean it looks like someone could just grab it and go and dot. it's over yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah pretty wild man yeah these numbers are so vast i think about that sometimes if i step on an ant yeah mm. you're like just a tear just a sh- what's the uh just share murder no yeah, but uh, sheer. Yeah, well, what's the rest of the sentence? And we'll see. I don't know the rest. I think it's a pretty important <laughs> word. Uh, the t- the what is the tear share or something like that? The fear, the, the sheer terror, the sheer terror. <laughs> okay, so, of that ant, of that ant. Yeah. yeah, sheer terror is a good word. Yeah, yeah. But I didn't know how to. What was I saying? The opposite. The tear share. Tear. The tear share. Tear share of <laughs> when an ant's, because you think you just walk and then you, uh, the ant, you know, is like, oh, yeah. like, you know, he doesn't know. And it's just a, like, if a tire runs over an ant hill, mm-hmm. yeah. you got to be like, what? Like, mm-hmm. what is that, dude? Mm-hmm. And we're just demolished the whole, yeah. the whole ant yeah. family. Yeah. They don't even know that they're, they're still doing, they're still looking into it. Like yeah. the detectives have, <laughs> Ants are still like they go. I don't know, but we have these flashes of darkness. It happens a lot. Get low to the ground. The ones that build theirs up too high, they're like you can't do stuff mm-hmm. like that because you will get run over. Yeah, so, Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. Yeah, it's a great movie. It's the same idea. <laughs> same idea. Same We're idea. all little looking up. Yeah, you know, yep. a shoe could kill us yeah. at any time. Anytime. That's a great movie. It is a great movie. Yeah, I need to watch that with my daughter. Speaking of new movies with this theme, though, how about Don't Look Up? Have you guys seen the the stuff about that? No. What is it? It's going to be a Netflix movie about a comet coming from outer space. Yeah. Leonardo DiCaprio, mm. Jennifer Lawrence. Oh, man. And uh, it's coming out yeah. soon, and it looks awesome. Hmm. Yeah. That stuff's fun. Yeah. I feel like that's the way stuff's going to start going is like a little bit more <clears throat> that kind of thing. Like these movies, and you talk about aliens, and like you're going to see it now. Like, once all those aliens come out and they come out with stuff like that, then you realize, like, oh, this is like what we're starting to do now. I feel like they've been doing that for 50 years. Yeah, but, but like aliens have come out a lot this past year. And so I feel like people's mind, the writers kind of go, like, oh, like, you know, we've, <clears throat> we've never talked about aliens like we have in this last year. I mean, we're saying that they're here. And so, like, I feel like writers are kind of like, now you're like, all right, what about, a con-? you know, your mind just creatively goes that way. I remember when two asteroid movies came out at the exact same time. Yeah. Great movies. Deep Impact. Deep Impact and Armageddon. Yeah. yeah. Came out almost back to back. I don't know if I saw Deep Impact. Is that great? It was it was pretty fun. Yeah. It was one of my favorite I'll movies as a kid. Yeah. Oh, Armageddon, though. Morgan just, Freeman's president. Yeah. yeah that's always yeah. good. I love it. Yeah. 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 Never saw Armageddon, though. What? Yeah. What? Yeah. He's never peed on a plane. Never, never seen Armageddon. Again. You think there's a connection? Should do Could both be. on the same plane. Yeah. <laughs> the universe is so big. There's a lot of numbers here. You can be like, there's no way they know that, and you're yeah. gonna be right. I think because you're like, how would they know this? 
So the universe is 13.8 billion years old, according to scientists. Mm. Well, how does it start then? Like, that's all of it. You go... <laughs> well, the Big Bang happened 13.8 oh. billion years ago, oh. they say. And then everything's just been expanding out. How did the Big Bang since, happen, though? Well, that's... What happened that's before? the ultimate question. I mean, that's all... Like, it's just crazy. They should just go, like, we think. That's what I wish they would do. Yeah. There's no way of us know. This is what it... Someone could be like, this is what we feel happens. Uh-huh. <laughs> but... Because then you're like, what happened before that? And they're like, I don't. No one knows. Yeah, exactly. There's no way of knowing. So we're here. Some Christians believe the Big Bang, but they feel like God still did it. Yeah. He was in charge of it. Yeah. He got it started. Like yeah. A, like a <laughs> switch. L- like, yeah, the match. Like, like a match. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't mean to. He was too close to the gas pump. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. man. <laughs> there's all these people over there now. <laughs> Um, it's uh 93 billion light years across the universe wow people talk about light years like we all just know light years i know like they i mean people go like how many light years and they go oh okay five light years and you're like you know what that like you wrap your head around what that is i don't know what a light year is so how far Light can travel in a year, and light travels at 186,000 miles per second. So what does that mean? That means nothing. It does mean nothing. It's just so vast, and that's just the observable universe, because light can't go faster. faster. Nothing can go faster than light, so um, it's still taking time for it to even get to our eyes, Yeah, if yeah. that makes sense. So how? what are we in here, this room, looking at this light? Just <laughs> fast. <laughs> neg- zero negative light years? From this light, is that what you would say? I think it's Basically, zero months. light years. Yeah, 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 we're like a we're light you, seconds. You mean the distance from us to the lights on yeah. the ceiling? We're like, is this a light second? You can probably just use feet. You know what I mean? <laughs> For, if you're talking about that, ten feet. How's it travel though? If you had describing light years, so we would. Yeah. Be, does it go down to months? We're light months away. Like you know, this you know the sun. <laughs> the sun is light months away from us. But like uh, something would be light years. Is there one light year? Well, yeah, sure. Yeah. So then, what's below one light year? Half a light year. What's below? When does it? Does it just stop? So is this zero light year? No light. <laughs> no light. I'm saying is there not a light month? Like, I don't think know. anyone's ever thought of it in those terms. But yeah, they should get into it. <laughs> the sun's 93 million miles away from the Earth, so it takes sunlight eight minutes and 20 seconds to reach Earth. Mm-hmm. So. It's seconds, so it's eight minutes. It's eight light minutes away. No, a, <laughs> a light year is a unit of distance, yeah. not time. Okay. Yeah. So, ninety-three million miles is a kind of fraction of a light year, mm-hmm. right? Obviously, because it's not. It doesn't take a year for the sun to get to us. Yeah. It takes nine minutes. Mm-hmm. So, so it's hard to get your head yeah. around. Yeah. It's also hard to, you know... Just say you don't want to go any farther. That's all I... <laughs> just say... Like, that's what I wish the scientists would be like. We're not... You know, they want to just say I'm dumb, and they should go like, we're just not doing that much of it. Like, you know, you get the general idea of it. And I'd go, okay. At least you're acknowledging that we're... He's like, yeah, it would go farther, but uh-huh. now it doesn't. Also, it's, just just the 96. Who could ever fact check that? No, I think it's 38. Nobody you know, could. Like, not yet. Nobody. Whoever decides that is like... This but is they're what giving you something to talk about. I get that. Like they're going like this is the best guess. And the universe is expanding, and I'm like, we're expanding into what? Like, like if what's out there? I mean, you know what I mean? Yeah. Mm-hmm. The balloon's expanding. There was something before it got there. So yeah. what is that? Yeah. It's like walking into a dark room, and you're like, is this room bigger than I think? I got to turn the light on. And see, yeah, it's a little, well, that sounds like something smart. But it doesn't, it's got the, you know, it just goes huh? back to lights on, lights you walk off. In, walk in a dark room. You think it's a big room? Well, maybe turn the light on. It ain't as big as you thought it was. <laughs> and then people are like, "What?" I got sounds good. There's two trillion galaxies in the universe. Wow, mm. two trillion galaxies. Mm. So we're in a galaxy. Yeah, yep. the Milky Way galaxy. Yep. Everything mm. you see in the sky at night—that's yeah, all the that's Milky Way. That's just us. That's just us. Just a, we got our own thing going. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Named it after a candy bar. <laughs> well, I don't so. know which one came first, but we did. We named our planet Earth. We named our galaxy Milky Way. Solar system, still the solar system. We didn't name it. Well, I guess we named it the solar system. 
But I feel like that's like galaxy or planet. Yeah, yeah it's like a generic term. Yeah. We yeah. never gave it a name. Didn't give the sun a name either. Huh? Sponsorship. Well, the sun is the name. It wasn't like they go, that's a sun. What should we call it? Yeah, because yellow. Because the sun's a star. Yeah. So Yeah, other solar systems have suns. Yeah, but not our I know, but they don't have our sun. They're not the sun. But they're well, <laughs> we're we're only talking about the sun you can see. So if you start seeing the other sun. <laughs> wait, wait, what are you? <laughs> well, you're you want to see these other suns, and you're we're talking about you know what I'm talking about when I say the sun. Sun's bright today. You don't go which one. <laughs> you know, you okay. know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, I know which one's ours. Yeah, which yeah, you see star. ours out there. You see it right through. The, it's coming through this window a little bit right there. <laughs> there it is. That's our sun. It went 93 million miles to get, <laughs> to get right there. there just dude. to go. Hey, Aaron, I'm here. <laughs> There's 200 billion trillion stars in the universe. Yeah, feels about right. Yeah. I see about 12 of them every night. You can see if you're out. The- Cloudy, I see zero. 200 billion trillion. And I mean, just one cloud, you get zero. <laughs> we can see about 6,000 of them. Yeah. On a, I guess. An average a, day at night. Yeah. Wow. A clear night. Yeah. I took a cosmology class. I see class. the same ones every time, though. Yeah. Those, are the, bright- see- those are the brightest ones. Yeah. So what, It's yeah. fun using that app where you can, yeah. the Skywalker app. Yeah, it's awesome. I and when it. I went to Australia, you can see planets there that you, I mean, uh, stars there you can't see here. They don't have the same stars. <laughs> What's a di- di- different <laughs> They have a different sun. Yeah. Different side of the earth. Yeah. yeah. Wow. And you're like, what is this? Is it weird? Yeah, there's no. Uh, Toilets go the other way. There's no. <laughs> yeah. There's no is that true? There's no Big Dipper. Mm-hmm. Oh, there's no Big Dipper. I think that's right. I think. Yeah. Because we're in a different hemisphere, so you yeah. can't see it. Huh. Huh. I do the toilets not. go the opposite way? Hmm? That's a real thing? Hmm? Why did they do that? I think we talked about... I forgot. It's something about the some, hemisphere, the yeah. equator. <laughs> something yeah. about the, yeah, the gravitational field of the, of the... I learned about that from The Simpsons, that episode. Anybody seen that where they they go there and they have to like spank Bart? Yeah. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, may be, I may be mixing up yeah. that episode. There is a great... I watched there. a video of a guy with a toilet and he's at the he's at the equator and he has it on the north and he flushes it and then he moves it 10 feet over and, fl- and it goes the other way. Uh, the guy brought his own toilet <laughs> and, he can make it, and he can make it flush. It yeah, doesn't, yeah. It doesn't have to be attached to anything. I don't Where remember. Does the water go? I don't remember exactly how it worked, but I do you sound remember. like a scientist right now. Yeah. <laughs> Where does the water Listen, go? How just does, trust me. Yeah. I know yeah. you don't. Yeah. Just trust me. On that. What were you saying a minute ago, earlier? Before we... I took a cosmology class yeah. in college. Sounds like a, makeup, which makeup, is not yeah. not cosmetology. <laughs> Beard trimming. Cosmology, which is just about the origins of the universe, and there's a planetarium on campus. And I remember one of the first thing, pretty much the only thing I remember from that class, was they put up what it looks like if you're on a clear night on earth, what all the stars look like. And then they go, now we're going to increase the brightness of all the stars that are too dim to see with the naked eye. And they just gradually, and then the whole screen was white. Yeah. Because there's just so many out there that we can't see. Yeah. Mm. And y'all go, wow. And you go back and (laughs) chug beers and do video games. Stand in line for Notre Dame game. Yeah. I mean, that's a waste all that time on. So y'all can go, wow. <laughs> that's, that's what we did. This is probably the farthest that information has ever gotten. This is most people has reached. <laughs> like, who would, what do y'all, you know. <laughs> it was worth it, I guess, for this class. Yeah. Oh, wow. So it's like just a bright room. You go, yeah. That lesson alone was worth four years of going to school. Mm, yeah. And then you went to your friendship class. Yeah. Then I went from right there to <laughs> friendship. <laughs> Um, some people think we're a computer simulation. This whole mm. thing, computer simulation. I like that. This uh, it'd be fun if we were. This philosopher um, said that he thinks we're simulation. Elon Musk says he thinks there's an excellent chance that this is just one big, like the Matrix. Have yeah. you seen the Matrix mm. movies? Yeah, and they're but yeah, new one coming them. out. New one yep. coming out. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so the idea of the Matrix—that's what they are. Mm-hmm. So that's not a real world. Right. I watched all three. And I don't know if I got that. I mean, it's like someone on a computer on the outside. Yeah, there's an architect and yeah. he's created the whole world. And then, uh, you know, Neo and a few other people, they take the whatever p- pill that shows you the truth. And oh, the red pill shows you the truth. The mm-hmm. truth. I can't remember then, which one, but the other one yeah. just mm-hmm. lets you go on and live in your life. Oh, you don't know mm-hmm. any better. Yeah. Okay. All right. I get that movie now more. 
that you said that. The whole red pill, blue pill thing is like one of the most fun. Take the red pill, take the blue pill. That's like the best it, choose your own adventure thing out there. I don't, I don't, I think I just watched them take pills and I don't even think I thought anything. Like I, don't, I, didn't, <laughs> I don't think I got deeply think into stuff. You were I, just, just, I was just like, taking, taking an aspirin, huh? Yeah. I mean, I, I, I guess I get the general, like, I don't ever think about it. I don't so, watch a movie like that for some reason. I don't know why. Well, it's I miss a, a lot major of the plot point of the movie. Though. I know, but I don't. It's it's it's. I don't think about. I don't like deeply think about some of this. Like I'm just like, I don't know if it's now. It's like when I'm. That's why I'm going back watching all these old movies. Is like because I'm just like kind of like I'm not even in it really. Mm-hmm. Even though I'm like I enjoy it and it's fun and it's fast and that's what I want. But I'm not watching it going like I can't believe that was about to happen. Like I don't. But I don't know why. Like. Is it, you know, I don't know. Is it getting busier? Is my, is it, you know, it, whatever it is, it's like nothing's like sticking with me. Mm-hmm. So I can watch something and basically, I, that's why I can rewatch the same thing over and over, but I could have a problem, could have a cornea problem. <laughs> <laughs> that's how he could learn to kung fu or how to fly a helicopter or whatever. They would just upload a program yeah. to him and he would immediately learn it. Yeah, this all makes sense now after seeing the movie. I that think makes a lot of sense. If there is one of the, not, not Neo, Neo is, was, the Keanu con- Reeves. Keanu Reeves, the other guy. Morpheus? Morpheus, who's like the controller of everything. Mm. I think that's Elon Musk, if there is one of these things happening. He knows how to do so much crazy stuff. Like he's mm. he's already planning how to shoot rockets, like shoot rockets into asteroids right now. So that but that would be like God. So if someone Well, there said, was an architect that Neo confronts at the end. Yeah. That's just a white guy with a white beard or whatever. Yeah. But yes, that's what I was about to say. I think but to me that seems like God. Yeah, it would God be God like, is the architect of this world. It'd be like whatever you, yeah. So it's like you're making it this, they're making it this, you're making it that, making it, you know, everybody's making it whatever their thing is. And then it's like, there's, that's no different than religion. I agree. <clears throat> the, yeah, if it's a computer. It's so funny, all these, it's these scientists who don't think there is a God and mm-hmm. that, but now they're like, no, I think this is a simulation. There is someone behind it. Well, that's kind of what, that's what, yeah. what we've been saying the whole time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. There's a designer yeah. behind the thing. Yeah. They take it a step further. Now they think there's a glick glitch in the matrix because of some stuff have been happening like what the brexit vote trump winning um the falcons up 28 to 3 in the super bowl (laughs) (laughs) and the oscars when la la land was announced but then it got corrected Mm. so like there's not supposed to be mistakes yeah they well i mean this is ridiculous but they think there's something weird going on you know, because yeah. all these things are happening that shouldn't be happening. Right. Not not nine eleven or Hurricane yeah. Katrina, <laughs> yeah. but the Oscars the, getting mixed yeah. up. Yeah, the, yeah, the La La Something's Land thing. Not is like, right. so I can't misspeak. <laughs> I mean, he was Warren Beatty was ninety something years old. You're like that. That looks like it makes more sense than if he got it correct. <laughs> <laughs> you got it right. It'd be a glitch. Yeah, yeah. I, I want to just make a statement that I believe in God, not Elon Musk, because I'm getting my daughter baptized, and I don't want to be like. Wait a minute. Uh, we late, saw Nick. you on there talking about Elon Musk. As the well, you're going to have an Elon Musk uh, pin on. When you do it. <laughs> yeah. You're do your own, own private Elon Musk. You're going to drive there in your yeah. Tesla, man. We know. Yeah. We Make know. sure we post that clip of Nick saying <laughs> yeah. Elon Musk is God. <laughs> yeah. Um, but no, they like they really feel like if there's a architect, where it could be his kid with a joystick just messing with yeah. us. Hey, get, get back. Get back. <laughs> These are people's lives down there. <laughs> So it's, yeah, so when all that weird stuff started, I mean, weird stuff happens throughout history, but right. those are the examples they gave. Tom Brady making a comeback against the Falcons. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They're that like, that could have happened. It couldn't yeah. have, yeah. Greatest football, greatest football player of all time. player of all time. Won another Super Bowl with an, in another conference yeah. division. Yeah. I mean, they, they even break down the Super Bowl, how it didn't make sense because the Falcons run defense and all this stuff. They think it's, <laughs> there's a glitch in the matrix. I think anybody takes any idea and then there's people that just go, they're run, like, run yeah, they're it. like, oh, they're like, oh, I'm way in on that. Yeah. And then they just kind of look at it. But then it makes it fun because it makes it a fun thing. Imagine know? just refusing to admit that your team's not that good. <laughs> yeah. that you have to be like, there, I think there's some kind of there's glitch in the guy. matrix right now. Dude. It's I like an Atlanta program. Hear him out. Hear him out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Guys, I'm going to get out of here. This is getting too heavy. Just hear him out. <laughs> the Falcons head coach, that was his excuse at the post game yeah. press conference. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Something's wrong with the simulation, yeah. honestly. Honestly, I don't know. I think his kid, a dog, ran over the joystick. So we had that game won. You know? And Belichick never smiles after yeah. the Super Bowl. He's like, I don't want to give it away. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he knows. Another movie about to come out, the Spider-Man, new Spider-Man movie, is about parallel universes. Oh, boy. And 
And some people think there are parallel universes, alternate universes. One example that they cite, in 1954, a man showed up at the airport in Tokyo. He, uh, his passport showed him from a country that did not exist. It's called Tarad. And he said he's from there. And they said, point it out on a map. And he pointed it out. And it was near France and Spain. He could share, he could speak different languages. They couldn't find it anywhere. So they thought maybe something's up. They put him in a hotel room and guarded the hotel room till they could figure out what to do. The next morning, the man's gone. And he was on like the sixth floor or something like that. He was yeah. completely gone, disappeared. So people are say maybe somehow parallel universes, they got crossed up and he yeah. ended up in ours. And yeah. he's in a world in that world wow. where it's called a different country. Yeah. Mm. What if they uh a the uh what if they <laughs> well, either there's, yeah, there's, there's gonna be no glitch. B. There's no glitch. <laughs> no, I said what what if they all like if there's another universe and they all know and we don't? Like, do you think they all, like, would they know? Or we're just all sitting over here like, we're the only <laughs> ones, and then we're the last to know? Or Maybe, they could, could be. Could be. Dumb. Yeah, well, I mean, if we're all on the same timeline, I guess, future them might know, just like future us might know. But Yeah. I mean, the argument is there's multiple us doing different things, just one decision we make, and another. One lady said that she came home one day and she had a different boyfriend. And <laughs> she thinks it's because of a parallel universe. But I think she just... Yeah, was hooking up, and that was yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. yeah, but to me, again, the universe is just so infinite that it goes on forever. I don't even know why parallel universe seems like a big thing. It seems like if it just goes on forever, eventually it will be another one of us out there. Yeah, mm. because the reason there's life on Earth, they say, is because it's just right. It's not too far or too close to the sun. Yeah, not too hot, too cold. Mm. It has water, you can have life. Well, if the universe is infinite, somewhere along the way, there's going to be another. So that's going to be just the well, right. How distance. come there's no planet like around the like that works around the sun? What about Mars? It's too hot. The Martian, huh? If it gets too close. I know, it's too but hot. there's not one on our exact number, like our Earth. Earth. Yeah, I think. Well, I, I think, know. But why is there not another Earth there? You know, that you mean that out in the universe? Yeah. We, well, we just haven't found it yet. Is what they think. Could it be on the backside of the moon? I mean, the sun, <laughs> or they couldn't even be. Uh, well, we go around yeah, the sun. So. That's right, so we would see it. <laughs> so, Unless it's moving with it. us. So it's always over yeah, there. It's, That's true. It's always right so behind So it could be the right sun. over there. We just need to, we need to look. We need someone to go out there and just look around there. Well, yeah. we're going to inhabit Mars, like in our lifetime. He thinks Pe- we already people, have. People will be yeah, there. Yeah, we're up there. And I think the one of, was it Saturn's moons, uh, Europa? That is, is right. Uh, <laughs> that has water on it. That is, that is. They think so. We talked about that there. in the oceans episode. Uh-huh. That they think there's water underneath. Yeah. Ice. So there's, there's, uh, well, Mars, what is on there? They think we can live in Mars? You'd have to do a terraform. People thing. are trying yeah. now, man. Oh, you'd have to build something. You would have to change the whole atmosphere to be able to live there. That seems like a lot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. To change the whole atmosphere. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, yeah, I, mean, I could see like someone's up there, but you know, what's his, didn't the Martian, he couldn't walk outside. No. You can't, no. like, that's what they want to do. Elon Musk suit. wants to build like a, a bubble that you can live in mm. in Mars. But if it, what if a hole gets punched? You patch it up. Yeah. I Everybody think it's like just, multiple hole, like bubbles. Yeah. They're also talking about terraforming where you like spray stuff in the atmosphere, kind of like global warming, but it, Causes it to be you more like us. Dim the, like dim the sun. You dim the sun. <laughs> yeah. You just bring a lot of plastic up there. And you're like, here's yeah. our recyclables. Yeah. <laughs> you just hire a bunch of people that can set up a nice tailgate. <laughs> That's all we go to. We go to, we go to the Alabama game and just recruit people that have the best tailgates. You want to go to Mars and build one of these up there? <laughs> yeah, I'll do it. <laughs> I mean, some Christians believe that's proof that we're special and that that God just created us, and that's why there's no one else out in the yeah. universe. Yeah. I don't think those have to be mutually exclusive. I think yeah. God can make other living yeah. creatures and still be God. Yeah. But did uh, I was thinking the Spider Man movie, like it's very that commercial for it. It's very funny that when because uh, he's like in like Kansas or Iowa or something, and there's nothing to grab mm-hmm. to, and it was like it really did. You're like, yeah, man, Spider Man really is can only be city. Yeah. Like you can't do, he couldn't get across. Like just do your crimes in upper, like up st- the state New York, upper state. 
Yeah. What do you call it? Upper New York or uh, upstate New York? Upstate uh-huh. New York. Yeah. Do the crimes up there. And he's like, eh, well, y'all can do whatever you want. I mean, I can't get there. Yeah. <laughs> I'd have to take a bus. Yeah. 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 Literally a bus. Yeah. You can't <laughs> fling around driving. mailbox to mailbox. Yeah. You know, he's, and he's like getting nowhere. <laughs> he's just flying like, yeah. private. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's just doing mailbox to there. And he's like basically like just on the ground. You have to, like, someone's behind him, like, uh, uh, uh. And he's like, I got it. Yeah, ten, ten, ten. This is a down. He goes, one's a big farther away mailbox. He has to sometimes just run in between and then get it going again. That's a Spider Man game. I mean, he's just like really. I never thought about it. So that commercial I was like, man, he's really a one. He needs a he needs a city. Uh huh. Is this Spider- why would they keep doing the crime in the city? Just leave the city. The guys, it's done. That's mm-hmm. what action is. Is this Spider Man to the Spider Verse or the the cartoon or the live action? I don't know if I care, but Brian, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> this is live action, and from what I can tell from the the previews, <laughs> all the previous villains that all the different Spider Mans have fought all somehow come into ours because the the worlds have opened up and. He yeah. has to well, when you're riding your fortieth Spider Man, you got to start coming up with <laughs> yeah. some stuff. Yeah. yeah, yep, I think that's true. Um, time travel. That's a real thing. Is it? Well, we think it's real. What What do you think would be harder to do? Go to the past or go to the future? Uh, yeah. I would say the future. Just cause it's made, well, I guess the future would be easier because they probably already have it. Mm-hmm. So the past would be harder. But for us, like if we had a... Future is the only one that's theoretically possible, right? All right, Aaron. You're too... Sm- like, just let us answer. <laughs> <What do> you- <laughs> let us get the dumb ones out just first. Just have fun. Yeah, let no. the... No, you're correct. I would think it seemed like it would be easier to go to the past because it's already happened. Or, Just because you've yeah. seen Back to the Future. <laughs> Wait, what is that? It would be easier because it's already happened? Because well, like, your memories are already there. It just mm. seems like from a logical standpoint, <laughs> maybe you would say illogical standpoint, if you're going to make a time, like, it seemed like it would be easier to go to the past. Yeah, your memories are already there than go to the future. Would you go, time. like, I feel like you would go back to, like, the Will, Wes Wilson Fair in like 19... Me? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I would. You would choose something very just you related local and just watch your same memory. You wouldn't go learn anything. <laughs> you were looking at Aaron and I thought, that sounds unbelievable. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, I think you would go, it would just be like the uh, first year of the mountain. You'd go to the... Uh, the West Wilson, not even the main fair. Yeah, the West, West Wilson, Wilson fair. fair. You'd go to the Knoxville when they did 1982. You'd go back to the World's Fair. Yeah, World's you'd go fair. to the World's Fair and see that. Yeah. Yeah. See that sun sphere. Yeah. I'd do that. I'd go back and try not to hit all those cars in the minivan, you know? I'd go back <laughs> I'd go back to help you out in that moment. <laughs> and like just tell, I wouldn't drive, but I would just say, just push the brake. <laughs> we could we could stop 9-11. We yeah. were, I'm gonna go to the fair. Yeah. yeah. And you're gonna go stop. We're gonna have a wonderful, go. nice day out. Yeah. <laughs> Time travel is theoretically possible. It's it's kind of happened, travel of the future. The faster you go, the slower time speeds t- time happens. So um, they put two clocks, they have one on Earth and one in an airplane, and the airplane traveled around the world. And when they got back, they were slightly different times. Hmm. Does that make sense? I mean, I don't know. <laughs> mm-hmm. Like, the, I mean, with the battery, they, they were like, the battery's good. <laughs> <laughs> Everything was like, my watch gets like, off all the time. Yeah. The faster Einstein said, the faster you travel, the slower you experience time. So that one clock stayed on Earth, the other flew in an airplane. After the airplane flew around the world, they compared the two clocks. The clock on the fast moving airplane was slightly behind the clock on the ground. So the clock on the airplane was traveling slightly slower in time than one second per second. <laughs> it was in the Bermuda Triangle, mm-hmm. right? Wasn't mm-hmm. there problems with clocks yeah. and stuff? I think so. Yeah. Clocks wouldn't go. Yeah, they would just yeah. stop. Like time would stop. They wouldn't go. They would. They would refuse to get on the plane. <laughs> and we've talked about those astronauts, Scott Kelly, Mark Kelly, the twins, and yeah. we talked about how one of them was shorter after he got back. The one that was on the International Space Station, going seventeen thousand five hundred miles per hour, um, his time slowed down. So he's he was six minutes older, or the other one was six minutes older. Now he's six minutes and five milliseconds older. <laughs> oh wow. Yeah. That adds up, man. I mean, how do they even know that? I guess they just well, they know the theory. So it. then they, they, they cut like, his leg, his, and uh, counted the rings. His knees, like your knee hurt yet? He goes, not yet. He goes, now it does. He goes, no. I'm five milliseconds yeah. ahead of you. Yeah, he's just got a gray beard. Yeah, got... So in theory, if we ever could get the point where we can fly at super super speeds, we could 
Faster than the speed of light? Well, you know? traveling in time. Because we'd yeah. be traveling so fast that, like, in the movie, um, what's the Matthew McConaughey movie? Interstellar. Interstellar. Where he goes out and then he comes back a little bit later. His daughter's grown. I don't know if you saw that movie or not. No. But that was the reason. They were, I think that was because of gravity. Oh, you'd love that movie. Dude. Yeah. Mm. Oh, it's God. fun. It's so much fun. Oh, yeah. It is so yeah. confusing, though. I've watched it. It's so confusing, like, but it's almost, you don't, but it, it like doesn't even benefit you to think about how it's working. Like you yeah. just enjoy yeah. it. You yeah. Just enjoy I mean? it. Um, because gravity increases uh, the, sp- um, the speed of time. So physicists at the National Institute of Standard and Technology placed two clocks on shelves, one 13 inches above the other. <laughs> this is what scientists are doing. <laughs> <laughs> and measured the rate of ticking, and the lower one ticked slower because it felt gla- gravity slightly stronger. Hmm. I mean... So that's why you're aging less than the rest of us. <laughs> I have a reverse aging. Yeah. Yeah. That could be one. That, uh, we, we had a security guard last night uh, in the casino and he, you know, he's asking for my ID and he's like, you know, you look a lot younger than you are. I was like, well, thank you. I guess. <laughs> yeah. And he's like, no, no, I don't mean that cause you're small. I just, you look you a look lot younger. Young. You look yeah. younger. Mm-hmm. I was like, well, thank you. Yeah. In the movie Interstellar, one hour on a planet near a black hole is equivalent of seven years back on earth. So that's why they had to get on that planet, go as fast as they could, and get back, right? Yeah. Yeah. On what? In in, in the, the movie, movie Interstellar, oh, they were having to go. Did you a... just ruin the movie for me? No, no, <laughs> no. It's, that's it's not, not the like end of it. Yeah. I don't think you can ruin that movie. It is. I literally it was. I had like three people trying to explain what's happening in the movie, and I was I still didn't like, know. And at yeah. the end, I was like, I like the special effects. I don't even know if we we're talking about the same movie, Interstellar. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Who's, who's I thought it? we we're talking about Armageddon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, it's a fun movie. All right. I'll wrap up on some depressing stuff. How it all is going to end. Um, mm, bad mm, news baits. Yeah. yeah bad news baits. It's <laughs> so a couple theories. The big freeze. Boom. The university expanding so much that it'll well, just blow over the big freeze. No. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, ex- I'm oh, explaining what it is. Oh. Oh. The big freeze is the university expanding so f- much that eventually we'll just be too far away. Everything will cool off. And and uh, <laughs> the, the universe will just die from freezing. Mm. Mm. If uh, so, like the sun just keeps going away. Well, I think everything's just separating from each other, and eventually mm. we'll be all too far away from any heat source. Yeah, mm. yeah. And it'd be like just slow. It'd probably just be like. Yeah, I mean, like if slow. we go a little bit, we're in trouble, right? If we moved a little bit away, we from be, the sun. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. So no, we can't move at all. I think we got some wiggle room. Like how yeah. much? I mean, it varies w- pretty wildly depending on what time of year it what is. What time of year it is? Yeah, so it's not like we're an inch away from freezing to death. No, not an yeah. inch, but we couldn't live on any of the other planets in our solar system because they're either too hot or too cold. Mm. But they're pretty far away. Give us a chance, you know. Yeah, <laughs> like we got. Yeah, We'd I like that we out. have wiggle room. Yeah, <laughs> that we're like we'll be. Our- <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll yeah. be okay. Yeah. yeah, but how crazy it, is that though? When it gradually starts happening, like. What it feels like in Alaska becomes Arizona. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And oh, yeah, you're like, we you probably can't live in Alaska. Yeah. You can't. I mean, it's like okay. then you're, you know, you well, just got to be find... the opposite. Then you got to go to Florida. What happens in Arizona becomes Alaska if it's uh-huh. freezing. Yeah. And we're talking about billions of What billions happens in Arizona years. happens in Alaska if we're freezing. What? <laughs> we're, it's the big freeze. We're going to get colder. So he said Alaska would eventually start feeling like Arizona. No, no, opposite. No, no. Arizona is going to feel like you're in Alaska. That's what yeah. I said. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I thought he said. Who's too. on first? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. The other one's the big crunch. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ooh. Oh, you know this? Is that where it comes back? Yeah, like everything's expanding out, like a stretching, and then yeah. it'll be like, whoop, and come back. Oh, like a rubber band. Kind of, yeah. So that means yeah, there's yeah, an exactly. end to the universe, if that's true. Yeah. So we're in like a room, mm-hmm. and then eventually it just, that would probably be just, quick. Yeah. We all just would disappear. And some people will think that this 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 existence that we have now is only one of like it continuously yeah just does this yeah back yeah. and forth and that we're just in one wave of it now yeah you know like you have a bad day don't worry you're gonna have another you know another <laughs> you chance have another chance at it yeah <laughs> hundred billion years from now yeah and so it's like it goes like that and then yeah so you don't want to so like we're probably good because we're not too far out. Like when, in a lot of times when people start figuring out more galaxy stuff, eventually they're going to be like, this is not good. I think yeah. it's the end. <laughs> I think we're getting close to the end. Yeah. I think we're going to shoot back any second now. 
<laughs> you just snap back to yeah. the Big Bang. Yeah. Hey, you know. Another uh, way they say we could time travel is <clears throat> uh, wormholes, <clears throat> which I barely understand, but I saw a show where they talked about basically you from here to here, you can bend it like that. No, oh, bend it the other way. And go there. Yeah, get there that yeah. way. Somehow you can bend space and time. There's there's something in Vegas, like a loop uh, that's that's supposed to use part of this, right? There's Vegas? a the Vegas loop. Elon Musk's uh there's a road the bor- on top the, of a the boring company. Hotel. The boring company is is one of Elon Musk's oh, company, and it's doing well, he, so, like a hyperloop that's gonna get allow you to use Yeah, it's not bending space and time, but it's using close bending something, you know. <laughs> something, <they're>, yeah, <laughs> something. <time. laughs> something. <laughs> I think that's like the the bank air shoot where like yeah, you shoot the thing up, but I don't think it's quite that. Yeah, it's yeah, it's uh, just like a fast ride. Yeah. <laughs> um. <laughs> Similar. <laughs> Some people think ghosts are people in the multiverse or the parallel universe that are getting crossed over. Yeah, and you see an image of them, and you're like, oh, "That was a ghost." Well, that was a person that is kind of bleeding over. So the ghosts are all like, "I'm sorry." Sorry. Yeah, my yeah. bad, man. Or maybe bad, they, maybe yeah. they're just as confused as we are. Like, whoa, yeah. what was that? Well, we're they, ghosts they see to us them. And we're ghosts to them. Yeah, we're ghosts to them. Mm-hmm. And if we would come together, we could win. Work some stuff out. Oh, yeah. win. <laughs> I thought we were going to get along, but we could destroy them. No, I'm. Well, I think we would then win. To be why are we crossing? So then we're like, and then we go fight. Who's ever making us cross? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Could you imagine you and Nick in that apartment and yeah. there's, there's two other of you that yeah. are also sharing it? I mean, that would be great. There's another and naked Nick. four naked Nicks in the, <laughs> yeah. in the kitchen. In. <laughs> Y'all go to the bathroom over there? He's like, no. I'm, like, hmm. I'm asking easy questions. <laughs> so the crunch and the... The big freeze and the big crunch are two of the popular ways. Is that there more or is that it? it? Oh, there's a few. Other. Those <clears> are the two <throat> big theories. <clears throat> um, it's... Is there more on the universe? No, we <laughs> no. covered it all. Oh, I thought you meant about the way the the universe ends. No, I mean the way it ends. Like, was there? Yeah, those are the yeah. two big theories on the yeah. on the way. And ends. the don't look up thing. The asteroid is like the no. Is no one's oh, on like board. That's, that's the way, that's, way, it, would that's way yeah. it would end for us. We're talking about for the universe. Oh, for the universe. The universe oh, I was I was not. I was yeah, I was about thinking us. about us. Oh, okay. So I was thinking about us. Uh, so they think an uh, astronaut could hit us. Because an astronaut, there's an astronaut. <laughs> an astronaut. <laughs> I think an astronaut good at us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that could happen. <laughs> Technically, it did when they come back and they fall in the water. <laughs> that actually is, I, yeah. Well, one theory I threw out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah. It's probably killed some fish that yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. How'd you die? Astronaut hit me. Astronaut hit me. <laughs> it's like that lady that got hit. Yeah, by that debris. Yeah. Maybe she got hit by an astronaut. Yeah. <laughs> One astronaut th- threw it up in space. <laughs> Buzz Aldridge just punched yeah. her in the face yeah. after. Yeah. There you go. I'm going to finish you off. What theory? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what, I don't what you're talking about. <laughs> what is that about? Maybe, maybe he was mad at her. I yeah. don't know. She should have moved. Know. Yeah, should have moved. I was going to say one theory why they, we haven't found anyone else. And I threw this out when you said civilian station, so it kind of got mm. blood over. But that advanced civilizations out there probably did something to destroy themselves. Nuclear yeah. weapons or something dumb that yeah. they wiped uh-huh. themselves out. Yeah. So that's why we can't find them because... Or why you haven't heard from them? Because at the time they get advanced enough to let us know, they're they're gone. Yeah, yeah. Or just never left their planet. Like we could, if we just never left Earth, we'd die out, right? They just never left. Yeah. Go to a different place. But there's somebody here doing something. We've seen those images, right? Mm-hmm. What? I'm talking about the spaceships. Yeah. Um, the Tic Tacs and all. Oh that. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so would you rather? Would you rather be aliens or China and Russia have something so advanced? With their way ahead of Probably us. Probably aliens. I mean, I think, you know, <laughs> why would but you if, want the... But if they're here, then they could easily just wipe us out if they want yeah, to. Yeah, but at least... We don't know their motives. You know, it's not one of us. <laughs> like, I feel like China and Russia's us. We're all... We're yeah. going to have to call Pepsi be like, hey, you still got those yeah. subs? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, 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 guess who? Call back. Hey. <laughs> call back King. Yeah. All right. All right. Let's end on that. Mm-hmm. Uh yeah. Yeah, do you have stuff coming up? I'm with uh, Henry Cho this Saturday in McMinnville, Tennessee at the Park Theater. Yep. 
Uh, I got a show in Charleston right after Christmas. If you're in the Charleston area, I'd love for you to come out. Check my website and stuff for details because I don't remember any of them. Me and Nick will be in right. Vegas. Yes. Uh, this Thursday. This comes nice. out Wednesday, right? It's yep. Thursday. This Thursday. Very excited so, about. Uh, yeah. Come check us out. Me, my dad, Nick, Vegas. And and also check out, we're going to be announcing the 2022 Easter Seals Disability Film Challenge. So if you follow us at Disability Film Challenge, we got some exciting stuff coming up. But I can't wait for Vegas. We're going to have it's gonna uh, be fun. such a good time. It's going to be fun. All right, everybody. Thank you so much. Everybody that's come out to these shows. We I love you. We love you. Thank you. Bye.